Good evening, everybody. This is Joe and Robert, and uh, we're going to be having a coin auction here in about 10 minutes, 15 minutes. So we're just going to chit chat for a little bit, let people filter in. And uh, Robert. Hi. <laughs> uh, no, I was actually wanting to take him because I was just thinking, Joe, I don't know exactly how I'm going to do this, but. Um, I've got to take and get over to your channel so that I can take and if nothing else, look at the uh, the chat. Up on the top uh, right corner, there should be a little icon that says comments, and that should be at the chat in YouTube. Uh, live comments? Yep. Gotcha. Okay. Oh, cool. Now I got it. Okay. Well, hello, everybody. Hey, 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 I know that person, Florida Lena Barati. <laughs> I think I've seen her before. Hey, Clinton, Mama Lou, David, Lincoln. Hey, Lincoln, Clinton. Well, hello, Mama Lou. Don't know that I know. Uh, don't think I've met you before, but okay. Hey, Greg McCoy, how are you? Um, Tony Inaro, He, I just sent him an email how to get here. Hey, Peter. Let's see here. Howdy, Clinton. Good to see you. It's nice to meet you as well, Mama Lou. Hey, CJ Coins and Grass. Howdy, howdy, howdy. Good to see you, man. Oops, I got feedback from you, Joe. <laughs> hey, there's Art Range. Show me the money, he says. Mm -hmm. There we go. Hey, Art. Hey, CJ. Hello, Mavaldo. Where'd Mavaldo go? Oh, there he is. Way up there. Man, that goes quick. Hey, Eminem and Movado. Good evening, Eminem. Yeah, I get to meet a few people. Interesting. This is a different setup than hangups or any or hangouts than everything else. <laughs> a little bit, yeah. When it's working, but, oh, it works nice because the YouTube chat's over on the side, and so you don't have to be on the channel or anything. I don't know, Joe. You got fifty dollar planchets? I don't know what he's talking about. I've never had a fifty dollar planchet. Mm, me either. I paint. I you paint it for fifty dollars, though. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Hi. Marty Hoyt. Good to see you. Hi, Marty. Sandy's here. It's Sandy the shark. Ah, we got another shark in here, huh? Oh yes. Do, 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 do. <laughs> And Wexler is here. Yay. Hey, Wexler. Hello, Sheldon. How you doing, my friend? Hello, Hello, <laughs> 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 Well, Joe, a lot of your fans are going to take and listen to my wife and, uh, and listen to her singing. <laughs> It's okay, I'll join in with her. Oh, I was going to say, hey. let's hope it's not contagious. But. <laughs> <laughs> we'll harmonize. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we'll just ring the bell. It's ring the bell. Trying to stop them. <laughs> Make me confuse that bell. Who wants coffee? Ah. <laughs> Woman, mm. fix me a turkey pot pie. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's funny. Yeah, you know what? On my thing, I never show. There's, there's the infamous coffee bell. There you go. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She's Johnny on the spot. Jeannie on the spot. Hi, Becca. Thank you for coming. So, yeah, um, Robert and I are doing a uh, group sale tonight. We're just going to be probably will uh, I'll sell 
couple items and then i'll hand it over to robert he'll sell a couple items and then we'll just trade off back and forth like that see how it goes um we got a nice nice list for tonight they should have that posted in the chat um yeah just hope everybody enjoys it come have fun hang out bid don't bid it's all good we're all friends here and uh thank you all for coming In my chat uh, Marty, I expect to see a photograph from you then. Sorry about that. I had to see it in chat, Joe. Oh, that's cool. Nice. Floor, the list was posted. You're welcome. <laughs> that's what she was saying. <laughs> I'm closer to you than she is to Robert. Even you, Mr. Spins. Even you. Yes, even you. That was a great video, by the way, for your Sunday auction. That wasn't that cool. How creative are you? And which one is that? Um, Clinton Ness just posted one. Uh, he's having a sale, an auction on Sunday, and his his video is hilarious. You got to check it out. <laughs> okay. He do that. His tools that he used are amazing. I'm like, right. that looks like something my daughter would have done. It's okay. fun to say booty. <laughs> that cracked me up. <laughs> he calls them coins. I call it booty. <laughs> it's fun to say booty. It's a pirate movie. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, about what, five minutes here. We'll kick her off, huh, Robert? That's time. Whenever you want, I'm okay. <laughs> and showing 23 right now. Yep. Yep. Well, we got 6.52. Do we want to go early? Ah, we might as well wait a couple, five minutes or something. Great, Get I'm going to go grab something to eat. Okay, close to seven anyway. Booty, booty. That's right, Sandy. Mm. Um. Hey, Jeff Dunn. Hello. Hi, Jeff. How are you doing today? Thanks, Eminem. Yeah, smack that like if you guys want. Or the dislike. Smack some. Come here, Floor. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Well, I mean, everyone's talking about booty, booty, and slap something. I thought I just put them together. <laughs> no. There you go. Remember, I was born a while ago where I'm a prodigy of the 70s. <laughs> right. Oh, uh, sorry, Clinton. <laughs> well done, Sandy. Well done. Well, look at it this way, Clinton. She didn't smack you that hard. You're still taking and typing. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Thank you, Movado. Hey, Movado, yeah, you got a package on the way to you, my friend. <clears throat> Keep it uh, PG 13. Oh man, do we have to? Great. I have to change the whole format now. <laughs> yeah, now we got to uh, okay. Well, yeah, I can't eat. I ain't going to say that. <laughs> I'll keep it clean. I'll keep it clean. We got a young man in the house, Lincoln Knight, taking you know how it is. Those young whippersnappers. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> awesome job, Sandy. <laughs> Let's see here. Uh, what do I got? Let's see. Uh, I wonder how much would it take, you think, Joe, to get Sandy to really get it to where she's got a type for Clinton? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Um. <laughs> Wow, 
like I said, guys, I don't know what all we're going to sell tonight, but I know one thing. We're going to have a little bit of fun. That's right. Let's see here. I'm going to look at something while we're sitting here. Uh, I'm just going to check something out, Joe, so I can see what I can do, if you don't mind. I don't mind at all. Yeah, I'll tell you what, and uh, if you don't mind, I'm going to play around here with your with your customers. You bet. I'm going to throw a quick giveaway up here, Robert. Okay, you're right on the head. Pick a number, Diane. Write it down. One through 35. Let's do it. Oh, Lincoln. One through what? Like Looks like Lincoln. I better get mine. Yeah. Oh, that's nice, Robert. Uh, yeah. I think I'm going to buy it. Hey, Brian. Hey, no Cal. Bigfoot. Brian, how are you doing? Okay, I got it. Okay, we're going to do a quick giveaway here for the... Uh, let me switch, Robert. I'll be right back to you. That's fine. These are this is like just a Littleton pack. This is a 2012. Wow. Sacagawea. Beautiful. There's a 2009 set. <laughs> and then you got a buffalo, an Indian head, and a and a uh, V nickel in here. They're just three unopened Littleton packs. You can take that for what they're worth. Um, a number one through thirty-five. Lincoln will type "go" in the chat, and not you have one get one guess. Guess as many times as you want. Don't matter. All right. We'll kick her off with the giveaway. So. Well, you need to say "go." So Lincoln will say "go." One through thirty-five. Hold on. Oh, there we go. There we go. Let's get it back up there. Stop, stop, stop. Okay, stop. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> that was quick. Yeah, could you probably play the game or something? Not paying attention. I'll put the. <laughs> Put it up. <laughs> and I'm looking. Here's the number. Do you want to look at your chat or my chat? It has or? to be yours because I haven't even caught up yet. See, that's <laughs> the right. So the number two. And who I showed Lincoln being the first one with the number two. I do too. That's what I have also. What? Lincoln, that's twice we got to do that for you. What in the world, Henry? Congratulations, Lincoln. Congrats, Lincoln. <laughs> Hello, Hidden. That will go on your pack there, sir. Hello, Hidden. Hey, Hidden. Here we go. That's for Lincoln. Lincoln. Daryl USA, hey buddy. Bill Betts, good to see you. Hello, Bill. All right, Robert, it is 6.59. Should we get this ball rolling? Your house, your rules. We're rolling, rolling, rolling. All right. I'll start it out with you, Robert. And you go ahead and sell two, three items, whatever you feel, and then we'll pass it on to me. Okay, well, let me take and uh, I was sort of kind of expecting to be second. <laughs> but that's okay. Just give me a second, and I have to take and change up my uh, camera to show what I'm going to take in the first item. Because what we have here is going to be. Uh, <laughs> Let me take and do it like this so I can see. There we go. Uh, my first auction item is the 1952 D over D Lincoln set RPM number 17. 
I'd like to get three dollars to open the bid. This is a bidding option. <clears throat> I will show the grade of it in just one second. Just give me a second to get used to these cameras here. But that right there is the RPM. You can see it. it's a tilted. And I will show you, uh, and this is a little bit more difficult, but let's see here. I think, is that the right one? Yeah, there we go. <clears throat> There's the condition of the coin. I need a pedicure. Manicure. Pedicure's around one, huh? Okay, there you go. I got Bill Betts at $3. <clears throat> Let's see here. What's my second one? Okay, good. <clears throat> Got that from a collection a long time ago. Hello, Art Ring. Looks like our ring's going to come in at $4. Don't have that RPM number 7. Uh, yeah, number 17, Art. Art's building up a wonderful RPM collection. I do know that. Hello, Andy Clayton. <laughs> hey, Floor. Yeah. I don't know. Andy says he needs to hear some kind of music. <laughs> Thank you, Bill Betts. <laughs> I was thinking I was with Sir Joe Auction. That's why I did not say anything. <laughs> <laughs> if you ain't having fun, you ain't doing it right. Congratulations, Art Ring. Okay, I'll go right on to my next item then. This next item is a coin from the Marshall Islands, the Republic of the Marshall Islands, first man on the moon, $5 commemorative coin. I want $2 to open it up. This has got a little bit of history in there. It gives you a little bit of information about Apollo 11. And then you got the man on the moon. Uh, I don't, yeah, the only way to see that coin is to take it out of here. It's just got that on the other side. Um, this is not silver, guys. There's no silver content in this. Uh, if you go to the Marshall Islands, it's got a $5 face value. But other than that, that's what you're bidding on. There you go. They are pretty. It's a proof-like finish, guys. <laughs> so there you go. Hey, I got Mama Lou in at three dollars. Thank you, Mama Lou. We appreciate it. And we have Mama Lou back at four. Hit my nice senior three fifty, but it was a little late. <laughs> I don't know how the bidding goes on this one, guys. So I'm sort of at uh, just winging it. Hello, Diane. That's it. Let's get them going. <laughs> Hello, Lady D. No, that's Diane Durbin, honey. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I got Hidden in at five fifty right now. Hidden's a high bidder at five fifty. Hello, Alden. Howdy, Alden Davis. Mama Lou is in at seven dollars now. Mama Lou's dropping the hammer down. Okay, I see Mama Lou, the high bidder right now at seven, but I could be behind. Let's see. Oh, wow. I'm way behind now. I see it. Thank you, Hidden. I can see that, Mama Lou. Sold. Congrats, Mama Lou. 
Congratulations, Mama Lou. You get that for seven dollars. Uh, Mama Lou, needless to say, we don't have your information. Normally on my channel, we take and the people just pay through PayPal and send it to aristeodaylo.com. Uh, and we just go that way. But uh, if you'd like to send me an email address, then I can take and send you an invoice in PayPal. Okay, that one will go in Mama Lou's basket. <clears throat> I'm going to do one more real quick. Uh, guys, this is a miniature. Uh $20 St. Augustine. It is 24 karat gold. Now there's about $25 and I think 76 cents. Um, it is 0.6 grams of pure 24 karat gold. And I'm asking $26 to get it started. Somebody had taped it. Uh, well, I guess they taped it upside down. But it does have St. Augustine, uh, I think it was a 2000, or I'm sorry, 1908 is where they had taken and the date they had put on this little miniature. They say it's 0 .0, or 0 0.6 grams, so there's about $25 and some change in actual gold in there. And yes, please, golds and, uh, yeah, goods and services. <laughs> <clears throat> And like I say, there's roughly $26 worth of gold in there. So I need an opening bid of $26. Well, thank you, Joe. Well, Joe, you ain't going to lose nothing. If gold goes up about $1, you'll start making money off of this one. It is that simple. <clears throat> Right now, we have Joe Durbin, the high bidder, the first bidder at 26. Uh, Hoover, you'll have to take and go a little higher. Go to 27. Like I said, this is right at the spot price of gold right now. Hello, my baby, Melissa. How are you doing, Melissa, by the way? I hope you're having a nice evening. This is for Mama Lou, right? Yes. Remove the phone over there. Okay. <laughs> okay, Clinton. Okay, guys. Looks like Joe going to be the one to get this at 26. He's picking up and he knows it's a deal. You can never buy this from a coin dealer at this price. Somebody get a list up for Andy Clayton? Yes, sir. Sign up. Oh, there. The young one's so fast than me. <laughs> so, Mr. Joe. Okay, congratulations, Joe. That's a good deal. Okay, Joe, you take over if you don't mind. Congrats, Sir Joe. Congratulations, Joe, and take it away. Thank you, Robert. All right, our first item tonight is a 1986 Silver Prestige set. Here's the box. I will show you the coins. You have an opening bid of $30 with all your paraphernalia. And here are your coins. So you get the dollar, Ellis Island dollar, the quarter, nickel. And then you get both both uh, half dollars, I'll show you the reverses. Again, the dollar on the bottom there, and then your quarter. <laughs> yes, Clinton, paraphernalia. Both of these would be clad halves. And uh, we have a $30 opening bid for the 1986 prestige set. So you get a 90% silver dollar, two clad half dollars, and then your uh, nickel dime quarter and Sent. Prestige. Prestige, yes. And we have Lincoln at 30. We all Salutations. And Tony says 35. Thank you.
We hear 36. I can't spell that, Clinton. No. I can't either. Show you the reverse one more time. Lincoln is out. Thank you, Lincoln. Thank you, Lincoln. Nice clean coins with all the government packaging and and garb. I see Marty Hoyt at 40. Thank you, Marty. Thank you, Marty. Marty at 40. Do we have 41? Spell check is my friend too, Clinton. Yes, those are gorgeous coins. Marty Hoyt's got it at 40. Anyone? Oh, wait a minute, Marty. You got it at 40 already. Oh, Tony says. Uh, yeah, you got to wait for it to. Maybe Lincoln's catching up to me. Okay, thank you, Lincoln. Thank you, Tony. Marty, thank for you, your Tony. Bits. I see Tony made it. That's Marty it. has it at 45. Do we have 46? Tony? Tony says 46. Thank you, Tony. Thank you, Tony. Marty, you're going to go for 47. Oh, boom. Marty says 50. Yes. Laura says, let us know if you're out. Thank you, Marty. Thank you, Marty. We got 50. Lincoln says 50 with Marty. Do we have 51, anyone? Whoa. Okay. Getting exciting, it's auction time. Tony's got 55. Do we have 56? Oh, we're not even going to go by the dollars. We're just going to go right on up there. Okay, let's do it. Okay, Marty's got 65. Do we have, I don't know, what's next? <laughs> if I say a dollar, they're going to go five. Uh. <laughs> Thank you, Marty. 65, Lincoln says. Tony, here we got 66. <laughs> says he's out. Thank you, Tony, for your bid. Thank you, Tony. Yep, we got Marty at 65. Do we have 66? Anyone? And Lincoln says we're going once. Going twice. Congratulations. Congratulations, Marty. That will be coming. Send us an email because I don't have your info. Sold to Marty Hoyt for $65. Congrats, Marty, and thank you. Um, next up, I have a 1963 proof set. Uh, opening bid on this would be $25. Here's your Franklin and your quarter. Nice clean fines with no spots on. Come on, camera. Yep, we have an opening bid of $25. Robert Lawson. 25. Oh, he's a rent. I have to wait for Lincoln. Sorry, Robert. Uh, Sorry, Lincoln. I'll wait. Yes, very nice set, Clinton. Very nice set. So you get your silver dime quarter and half dollar, and then your nickel and your cent. We got Tony at 30. Thank you, Tony. So this is what we're bidding on. 
And Robert is out. Do we have 31? Anyone? Thank you, Robert. Tony's got it at 30. Do we have 31? Anyone? Thank you, Flora. Anyone? Last call for 31. We got Tony at 30. We have 31. Last call. Going once, going twice. Sold to Tony for $30. Thank you, Tony. Thank you, Tony. Coming to you, sir. Again, I Tony, can you? I don't have your info. Can you send me your email? Send an email to Joe's email. And, um, yeah. Here's our next item. We have an unopened mint okay. bag. Oh, you guys go fast. Here's your of Minnesota P Mint quarters. $25 bag. Unopened. Minnesota State quarters. Uh, that should be a $30 opening bid. I had that wrong at 35, but so a $30 opening bid on this. You have a thirty dollar or thirty. It, it's thirty. I had it wrong. Sorry, Lincoln. Oops. That's a typo. My bad. So if we have any interest in this mint sewn bag of twenty five dollars worth of quarters, yes, thirty dollar opening bid. Who knows? You may get the double tree variety in there. You may not, but. Nonetheless, it's a nice sealed mint bag of Minnesota State quarters. And, you know, it is a beautiful state, really. Just saying. And I've been everywhere, man. That's right. And if we don't have any interest in this, that's fine, Lincoln. We can move on. Last call, everybody. Thirty dollars for a U.S. mint bag, it's unopened, totally off. It's closed. Thank you. And I'm going to pass this over to Robert now. As soon as I can find. Him. Okay, we're back, uh, guys. For my next action, we have 1974 proof set. I need nine dollars to open this up on this one. 1974 United States proof set. Oops. There's the reverse of it. Why is it, Joe? My camera's working so good on my uh, on your channel, not mine. Huh. Some kind of conspiracy here. Okay. That's funny. <laughs> It's a conspiracy, I say. <laughs> oh, <laughs> funny, Diane, funny. Yeah, it's got one of the Eisenhower dollars in there, guys. So there you go. I don't know if anybody knows, but I start everything out of gray sheet bid. That's what the dealer to dealer wholesale is. So I'm not going to get her much cheaper than that. So there you go. If there's no interest, Lincoln, you can go ahead and shout it down. 
we have other things that we can sell. All right, thank you, Greg McCoy. We have Greg McCoy. Looks like he's going to give us $9 to start it. Thank you, Greg. I appreciate that. And by the way, if you happen to be a customer of mine on CoinOp, you're welcome to take and combine. We'll combine your shipping from this afternoon's auction. Hello, Amy Uper girl. Howdy, howdy, howdy. Good to see you. Love the videos you've been doing, Amy, when you get them up. So I got Greg McCoy in at $9. And ain't gonna make this the last call. Okay, congratulations, Greg. You win that at nine dollars. Okay, we will put that into your package. I appreciate it. <clears throat> okay, and I want to move on to the next one. It's a roll of 2017 Philadelphia. This is the only Lincoln cent that's got a P mint mark. I need one dollar to open it up. It's never been looked at, never been searched. I do know they have some minor double dies in these, but this is the 2017. Well, that whoever put a P on there, they didn't know how to. Oh, uh, now you can see this 2017 P. So there you go. Yeah, I need one dollar to open this up and move it out. Again, 2017, the only Lincoln cent that has a P mint mark. <laughs> Hello, Amy. Good to see you again. Now that camera's going to take and focus on my fingers and not the coin. Oh, okay. Thank you, Joe. Joe Durbin's going to let us get out of here for $2. I appreciate it, Joe. <laughs> Tony and Arrow at four. Brian, you might be right. And <laughs> maybe it is a night owl. I don't know. On the stream lab, it took and it wanted me to go to a low uh Thank you, Joe. Thank you, Joe. It wanted me to go to a low setting and I set it up on a higher one. <laughs> maybe he's Marty. <laughs> Okay, I got Tony and Arrow in at four dollars. Do we have five dollars, anybody? No, we paid eight dollars to make it. Oh, okay, thank you. Okay, I got it. Hello, Rocky Treasures, huh? A lot of it depends on the weight, and you know what, Joe? I don't know how you. You know what, Joe? You might want to go over that, and after this auction's over. Uh, and we can resolve that issue because Rocky brings up a absolutely wonderful question. I don't know if we did resolve that. So, congratulations, Tony. You're going to get that at four dollars. Okay, Tony. <clears throat> Joe, I'm going to let you take it back and let's go over the shipping and handling since we took in. Uh, I'll just hold off and you can go ahead and fill us all in. Okay, well, there you go. All right, yeah, that $350 to $8, depending on shipping. Depends on the package. Some of the packages are smaller, some of the packages are bigger. You know, it really depends upon who sold you the coins. I don't know what Robert typically charges. I think it's close to the same. Yes, it is. We are not interested in making money off your shipping. I try to get it within a dollar. Uh, sometimes I'll eat a little bit. Sometimes I make a little bit. It's usually under a dollar. If it's more than a dollar, I normally take and refund the customer. Right. 
same here. So, okay, I'll do one more then. And now that everyone knows, there's the shipping. Next up on the auction block is going to be a 1973 mint set. You get the two Eisenhower dollars in the set. And again, here I'm doing the same thing. I don't know why I do that. <clears throat> but you get two of the beautiful Eisenhower dollars, the half, quarter, dime, nickel, and the pennies. And I need $7 to open the bid. And I had Greg McCoy at 8, Brian Drew, a mechanic at 9. There we got some interest. Sir Reg at 10. How you doing, Sir Reg? Good to see you in here. No, Tony, you're going to take an I will combine. That's what I said a little earlier. I will combine my customer shipping in with this afternoon. So everyone that is my customer, don't worry. I will combine your shipping just as though you was on our channel, our home channel. So you'll have no problems with that. So, Tony, just uh, you just lump it down into one payment, and I am absolutely okay with that. And that goes for all of my customers. The new customers that are Joe Durbin's, guys, we sort of kind of make baskets up for people. Um, I do combine my shipping as well as Joe, or just like Joe. And we take, and uh, we're just as fair as uh, Joe and Diane. So just so that you guys know, uh, normally we do not send out invoices. We normally let the customer just pay straight through. Uh, PayPal, and as long as you're paying for an item or a service, it gives us your address, and then we just automatically ship it. We've been doing it for a long time, and I assure you, Joe would not have invited me if I was any kind of a crook. <laughs> okay. I'm showing Sir Reg at 1650. Uh, no, 50 cents on 50. There you go. Thank okay. You, Reg. Thank you, Sir Reg, and thank you, Lincoln. Sorry, Sir Reg, I don't know all of, uh, I don't know all the rules on this house. <laughs> thank you, Hidden. You're very sweet, my friend. Now he's being nice to me because I told him I need a little bit of work. I got it, Hidden. <laughs> I have to put you on retainer and just let it go at that. <laughs> you have a nice evening too, Coin Searcher 2. We'll see you later, Coin Searcher 2. Thanks for stopping in and then join the or joining in on the auction. We appreciate it. Hit the like on your way out the door. Okay, I got it sold uh, Sir Reg at $17. Thank you, Sir Reg. <clears throat> we'll put that in with your other items, Sir Reg. Thank you, Alden Davis. We appreciate that as well. Okay, Joe, your turn, my friend. Because I'll have to change cameras, so I'm going to let you take over. <clears throat> okay, there we go. All right, sorry about that. Uh, thank you, Robert. Uh, next up, we have a uh, 2002S PCGS Proof 69 Decam clad dime. Opening bid is seven dollars. Um, <laughs> here's your reverse. And that's what we're bidding on. So if we okay, and we have Alden at seven, do we have eight? Thank you, Alden. You're doing great, Lincoln. You're doing great. 
<laughs> Lincoln always does great. Yes, he does. Holding at seven, do we have eight? Okay, anybody for eight on this beautiful PCGS PR 69D cam? John Isabella, hello, bud. How are you? Hello, John Isabella. Hello, Gary. Hey, Gary. Sprinkler repair. Hey, sprinkler repair. Hmm. All right, Clinton, be careful. <laughs> Ooh, he's eating wing, wings. Sandy made wings. Lincoln's calling her down. Lincoln's calling her down. Looks like Alden's got it at seven so far. Going twice. Soul to Alden. Thank you, Alden. Thank you, Alden. That will be coming to you, buddy. Um, here we go. Next up, we have a 1900 O PCGS MS 64 Morgan dollar opening bid $115. Hi, Fire Cajun. Thanks for coming in. So, there's the front of your lady. Yes, let's follow those. It's a little hard for the mods to be able to see what's going on for sure when there's numbers. Let's write them out or wait in between auctions. Here's your reverse. Very nice, clean Morgan. Uh, 1900 old. <clears throat> Just a spot of toning down there by the date. So... We have any interest in that it is a uh 1900 old morgan dollar pcgs ms64 opening bid of 115. hello fire occasion We got 115, anyone? It's a beautiful woman. Yes, it is. What would what would Flora say? Pretty woman. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard telling what Flora would say. <laughs> <laughs> She'd break out into a song though. No interest. Keep it alive. It is a beautiful coin like you, Flora. Yes, indeed. Last call, it says. What's on the back? Oh, <laughs> I'm a little behind on the screen. The eagle. Mm. I got it open now. Oh. Hello, Karen V. Karen V. Hey, girl. It is close. Thank you, everybody, for taking Thank a look you, at our gorgeous coin. Oops. You're oh. beautiful. Like you. Me too, Fire Cage. For sure, for sure. All right, our next item up is a 1926 S piece dollar <laughs> Annex AU55. $42 opening bid. You see the toning on the obverse there. Again, by the date. And on your reverse. And we got 42 from Alden. Thank you, Alden. Thank you, Alden. We have 43. <laughs> okay, Ed. I'll keep that in mind, buddy. <laughs> hmm. Here we have the 26S AU55 piece dollar. Uh, we have 42, looking for 43. And that is 
what we are bidding on, folks. Last call, guys. Alden's got it at 42. Do we have 43 anyone? <clears throat> That's a nice looking coin, too. Look at that. And AU means what? Going once. About I'm circulated. About I'm circulated. Almost about. I'm Going twice. Whoa, sniper! Tony comes in at 43. Tony! At the last second. Tony, Tony, Thank 43. You, Tony. Do we have 44 from Alden? Alden says he's out. Thank Tony's you, at 43. Do we have 44 and he won? Thank you, Alden. Yeah, he did snipe on you for sure. Uh -huh. <laughs> but that's what makes it fun. Last call, Lincoln says. We got Tony at 43. Do we hear 44? Anyone? We can get another. Hey, Art, where are you? He's the other sniper. He snipes different things. Oh, <laughs> going once, going twice. Ready, set. Tony's got it for 43. <laughs> Congratulations, Tony. <laughs> Congratulations, Tony. Pass it off to Robert. Thank you, guys. And now, Rob. Okay. Have a little clip. Thanks for the warning. <laughs> That's okay. Here we have a 1943 San Francisco Lincoln Cent. This is the RPM number three. You can see nice separation there. This is an uncirculated coin. Give me a second so I can change it over, and I will show you what the uh, what the whole coin looks like. One second. Okay, there's the obverse of the coin. Let's see. Oh, by the way, yeah, uh, I need five dollars on this one to open it up. So there's the obverse, nice red BU coin, and there's the reverse. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry, 53. I, I think I did say 43, Tony. Thank you. <laughs> I'm sorry, 1953. <coughs> good eye, Tony. Good yep, good eye, Tony. My bad. Let's see, trying to get a little bit closer here. You'll find the Edward coins on your other pants. <laughs> okay, there you go. <laughs> I understand that, Tony. I might have one of those, Tony. I'd have to look it up in stock, but that might be in my private collection as well. I'm looking on the coin. <laughs> there you go. Put this down here where I can show it. Okay, Lane says we're going to do last call. Not a problem, guys. Uh, Tony, let me see. I'll tell you. Uh, I got Greg McCoy five. Tony, I would say it should go a 64. I wouldn't give it no more than a 64 myself. 63, 64 should be in there, but it will come back red. So I got Greg McCoy in at $5. Thank you, Greg. We appreciate you bidding. <laughs> Tony and Aro is in at six right now. Yeah, where's Art? Art must be feeding Granny some pills. 
We got Tony Gennaro in at six. Greg McCoy, six fifty. Bill Betts is in at eight. Thank you, Bill Betts. And hello, Bill. We got Bill Betts coming in strong at eight dollars. Greg McCoy says he's out. Thank you very much, Greg. We appreciate knowing this. Helps us to get through this a little bit quicker. Bill's been lurking in the background, waiting for the San Francisco Mints. <clears throat> San Francisco's are a little bit tougher to come by in the RPMs and almost everything, honestly. Where are you, Sammy? I'm wondering where Art is because he's been doing that RPM group. I'm shocked he's not in here getting up on these. Thought I seen him a little earlier. <clears throat> ah, speaking of the, the or I mean Art. <laughs> Yes, yeah, Sniper. Tony Inaro says that. Thank you, Tony. We appreciate that. Thank you, Sir Tony. Oh, man. Yeah, Bill, that's kind of difficult. Like I say, he's been, ever since he started that RPM group, he likes all of those. He's been grabbing up all the RPMs that I've ever been selling. Oh, okay, Art, I will. I got it. Well, I can't say that. <laughs> so, the art ring at nine dollars. Congratulations, art. Congratulations again to art ring. Okay, next up, guys. This is more of a novelty item. This is a 1980. It's basically just a John F. Kennedy set commemorating it. Uh, I, I guess there's no papers on it. So I don't really know what they are. Uh, other than you got a gold plated. And I don't even know what the gold content. If it's electric plated or what. But I took in. I got it figured out. Starting bid at $3. Uh. It's in a nice little fancy box. They say it's, I call it a novelty. For $3, you'd make a nice gift for somebody. And thank you, Karen V. I got Karen V at $3. Thank you. Oh, yeah, Karen. This would be nice for you to add to your set. I got Sir Reg now at $4. Karen back at 5 <laughs> Sir Reg at five fifty. Uh, Tony, there's no paperwork. I honestly do not know. And I got Karen V at six fifty. Sir Reg at seven. What square? There's no. There's nothing behind it. I looked. No, on the square points. There's written on the square points, so I don't know. No, I this here is just the. Uh, Writing to uh, mimic the, oh, okay. yeah, telling about Kennedy. Yeah, and like I say, it's a nice little novelty set. So, and it's got a real Kennedy half, 1980. It's just been gold plated. Okay, Karen is at six or 750. And Sir Reg says he's out. Thank you very much, Sir Reg. We appreciate that. Thank you, Sir <laughs> Hello, Ozark. Having a good time. Having a good time, Ozark. Having a good time. So, to Karen V at 750. Congratulations, Karen V. 
And I thank you very much. Joe, I don't know if I'm supposed to do another one or not. <clears throat> uh, so stop me if I'm not. <laughs> Go ahead, Robert. Okay. Uh, let's see. I've got to adjust this right here. Let's see if I can. Well, i got to find this stupid thing. Oh, there we go. I am putting this under magnification because this is a, a miniature. So, let's see. Let me figure out how to get it focused in. Bear with me. Okay, this is just a miniature Morgan Dollar. There's four of these. I'll show you in just a second, but there's four of these. Uh, they are real silver. Um... Guys, it only the, the true silver content only adds up to about fifty cents in silver. So, just to let you know, but they are fun little novelties. That's what the Iverse looks like. Uh, let me show you the reverse. If I can get a hold of them, these things are small, small, small. Tiny, tiny, tiny. Let's see if I can. There we go. And there's the reverse of them. They didn't do a bad job of them. They're supposed to be. Uh, sterling silver sterling silver says so let me show you on my other camera what all you're getting just bear with me again folks I'm not used to this I'm used to my OBS so uh, I gotta keep changing cameras there we go <clears throat> show the one penny huh oh okay uh, just to give you an idea of the size of them, there's a penny right next to it. So, <clears throat> that is what you're bidding on. <clears throat> I, uh, Greg McCoy in the $4. Sorry, guys, I'm having a hard time seeing chat and doing all this other stuff. <laughs> Sir Reg, $4.50. I see Sir Reg in at $4.50. <clears throat> yeah, there's a, as you can see through the envelope, there's some kind of a registry certificate or something in there. They say they're just cute little miniatures, so Greg McCoy's out. Thank you very much, Greg McCoy. Sir Greg says he's out. Thank you very much. I got Oz Art at $5. He's a high bidder right now. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, they are. Uh, they're, ni they're nice little novelty items. Congratulations, Oz Art. You're going to get them. Uh, Oz, I know you're new to my channel. Or, well, I know I'm on Joe's, but I mean new to my auctions. Normally, I don't give out uh, invoices because I don't know your email address. I don't want you to put your email address up. Normally, we just let people uh, go to PayPal at errorsgeodaywell.com. And as long as you pay for your item, we'll add the shipping up at the end because we do combine shipping. And we'll add it up at the end. And if you make a payment to us using goods or services, then we get your address and we ship your items out. Um, that's the way we normally do it. I know Joe does it differently. So you can use that same email address to send me your information and I can send you an invoice if that's the way you prefer it. So I just wanted to notify you of that. Okay, Joe, if you want to take it over, I got a little bit of setting up to do. I need to put that on a yeah. plastic flip. Thank you, Joe. Thank you, Robert. Congrats, Oz. Uh, our next item is a uh, 2006S PCGS Proof 69 Decam North Dakota State Quarter Flag Series. There's your flag holder. Uh, it's a clad quarter. Opening bid is seven dollars. What? What? Do we have the same thing? What is it? North Dakota Quarter. Oh, I'm on the wrong page. Oh, jeepers! What the heck, Henry? Anyway. We're still, uh, it's a North Dakota State Quarter 2006S Proof 69 Decam Flag Series. 
Here's your flag holder. Here's your beautiful deep cameo quarter. The reverse. And Alden's got it at seven thus far. Thank you, Alden. And then on the bottom is the uh, certifications on the flag series. Uh, there's your coin. Alden's got it at seven. Do we have eight? Anyone? Thank you, Alden. North Dakota. I need floor. I need your help. The same? Yeah. Last call, guys. Alden's got it at seven. Do we have eight? Anyone? I think it says we're going once. Going twice, be on the lookout. Sold to Alden for $7. Thank you, Alden. Congrats, Alden. That'll be coming to you, sir. Um, our next item. Now that I'm on the same page. Is a 2008 NGC. Oh, shoot. Uncirculated Andrew Jackson, first day of issue, gold dollar. Our opening bid is $5. So here's the gold dollar, reverse. <laughs> Oz. <laughs> the chicken tooth struck again. Uh Again. <laughs> Again. <laughs> so that's what we're bidding on. Alden has five dollars. Thank you, Alden. So we got five dollars. Have we got six? Anyone? Ooh, five fifty by Sirig. I'm not used to the fifty cents. I'm gonna have to get used to that. Hey, Melissa. Alden. <laughs> Ox Oz says five fifty one. Alden said six. Uh, Sorry, Oz. <laughs> that one won't fly, Oz. <laughs> you know better. Ooh, Mama Lou for seven. Go, girl. Alden's out. Thank you, Alden. <laughs> Thanks, Alden. Thank Sarah you. says seven fifty. Sir, Reg, Sir Reg, Sir Reg, Sir Reg. Okay. Hey, coin captain, Hoover's coins, Corgis? That's Melissa. That's Melissa. Melissa, okay. Hey, Cindy. That's right, Mama Lou, show my, oh. Hello, coin captain. Thank, Thank you, you, Mama, Mama Lou. Lou, for showing up and coming and bidding. I appreciate you here. Sir, has got it at 7.50. Do we have eight? Anyone? Ooh, Brian's world at eight. Look at there. Hey, Brian. New Kelly from Brian's world. Do we have nine? Sirig is out. Thank you, Sirig. Thanks, Sirig. I'm sorry, Lincoln, if I'm going too fast. I can't tell if I'm lagging or what. Okay, we've got Brian at eight. Do we hear nine? That's right, Oz. Let's throw a penny at the like button. Hi, Kathy. Hope you're doing hey, well tonight. Kathy. Going once with Brian's world at eight. Going twice. Congratulations, Brian. Congratulations, Brian. Oh, I gotta get the other one. That one will be coming to you, sir. 
Congratulations. <laughs> to Brian's world. Up next, we have the 2007D NGC uncirculated Andrew Jackson first day of issue, one dollar. Or Thomas Jefferson, excuse me. <laughs> uh, opening bid is five dollars. Show you the reverse. So again, it's NGC first day of issue, uncirculated Thomas Jefferson. Uh, gold dollar. Opening bid is five dollars on this one as well. Brian had it at five. Now Alden's got it at six. Brian's world says six fifty. Alden says six. Searing says seven. Thank you guys. Brian world wanted at eight. Alden is out. Thank you, Alden. Okay, this Andrew Jackson went to the Sirig. Searing. That was Brian's world. Let me look. I didn't even write that one down. Maybe what's up with my camera? Okay, we'll take care of it for a minute. Brian's world's got this one at eight. Do we have nine? There we go. Thank you, Alden. Thank you, Alden. Last call. Brian's world. Hello, Anthony. Good to see you. <laughs> that's that's right. right, Robert. That's right. It, it's got to be the environment. Sold to Brian's world. Congrats, Brian. Congrats, Brian. This one, too, is going to go to you for $8. All right. Let me pass this off to Robert. Okay, thank you, Joe. Sorry about that, guys. Up next, I have a 2009 Lincoln Cent Original Bank Wrap Roll. Uh, guys, this is a heads heads. It's a 2009 Philadelphia, so I do not know what's in it. It came from the uh, let's see, NF String and Sons from Harrisburg, PA, and it's, all I know is a 2009. This could be any of them. I don't know which reverse it has on it so your guess is as good as mine uh good luck to whoever gets it <laughs> i got Odin davis in at four hello daryl usa yeah 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 hidden you know what my friend you are very observant you are i mean i cannot get over how observant you are I got Sir Reg first in at, or yeah, in at four fifty. Did you notice hidden while you're looking at that roll that there's a finger on that roll? Did you actually see that hidden, or did you miss that? <laughs> I got Alden Davis at five fifty right now. I'm trying to get this camera now to. Maybe show you guys a little bit of the quality. Now that first, uh, well, here it comes. This one here has got a little bit of the roll uh, hit on it. But got a nice surface on them. Hello, young coin hunter. Hidden, I'm glad you've seen it. I got Alden Davis at $5 right now on the 2009. And we don't know what the reverse is. It's one of the... One of the different reverses that came out in 2009. Thank you, Tony. Uh, okay, thank you, Tony. Um, I didn't see it, Tony. I, it's not my feed. We'll see. Well, now my camera's going to act up, Joe. I had to brag on it. <laughs> Hello, young coin hunter. Yeah, well, like I said, well, you know what? Now my camera's going to act up. I had to brag on it. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I 
There you go, Dan. Yeah, 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 didn't. Sold to Alden at five dollars. Congratulations, Alden, and good luck. No idea what the reverse is gonna be, but good luck on it. Okay, let's see. What do I have next? Up? Uh okay, we have a next we have a nineteen seventy-four United States mint set. And here again, we've got, you got the two Eisenhower dollars in here. Let me pull that back some. Oh, camera, come on now. I think I know what the problem is. There we go. So you get the 1974 United States Mint set. I need $5 to open us up, and Alden Davis is going to open us at $6. Thank you very much, Alden. And let's see where this one goes. You get two very nice Eisenhower dollars. Young Coin Hunter, I honestly never looked, but I'd be happy to. So if it is, I would be happy to let y'all know. Nope, it does not have the 74 double die on the half. Okay, I got Sir Reg is going to come in at $9 right now. Hello, Les Wally. Yeah, well, I tell you, you're always counted for less. <clears throat> Thank you, Alden. I show Sureg in at nine dollars right now. Thank you, Alden. And thank you, Alden. We appreciate that. Okay, we got nine dollars. You're gonna get whoever wins this is gonna get the two Eisenhower dollars that go with it. They're getting more expensive for the uncirculated ones. Right now, I got Sir Reg at nine dollars. <clears throat> I got. Kathy Durbin in at ten dollars. We have Kathy Durbin, the high bidder right now, at ten dollars. Sir Reg at eleven. Sir Reg comes right back at eleven. And Kathy Durbin says that. She's out. Thank you very much, Kathy Durbin. We appreciate it. Thank you, Kathy. <clears throat> okay, we got Sir Reg in at 11 right now. Hello, infamous stacker. I'm doing wonderful, to be honest with you. I'm sure Joe is, too. We're trying to have a little bit of fun and sell some coins and give some other people a little bit of happiness. Sold to Sir Reg for $11. Congratulations, Sir Reg. Congrats, sir. That'll go into your basket. <clears throat> okay, and I've got one other we're going to do before we pass it over to Joe. This is 1776-1976. Uh, proof this is not the silver guys it's just the proof set i need eight dollars to open us up on this it's got a real nice looking eisenhower on it and i'll i'll just leave that right there for you guys to look at that part of it uh, let's see here i don't know if that's a piece of plastic on the inside of the holder there on that corner but there it is Hello, Eduardo Morales. I got Eduardo, or let's see here, Brian at eight. I got Brian first at eight. Hello, Penny Panic. 
I had Melissa in at nine. Ryan's World Mechanic at ten. <clears throat> Have fun with that, Penny. I hope your son feel better, Penny. Tony Yanaro is in at 12 right now. <clears throat> hey, Clinton, you're back just in time to start spending some money. Come on. Go ahead, Clinton. I got Brian's World Mechanic at 13 now. I don't think that's a bid, Melissa. <laughs> that's good to hear, hear, Penny. I'm glad he's feeling better. <clears throat> well, Diane, that's not a bid. <laughs> Thank you, Melissa. Melissa says she's out. We appreciate it. Hello, Debbie Cottrell. Tony Yanaro is out. Thank you very much, Tony. Thank you, sir, Tony. I think we have 14. What's that last? No, the last bid was 13. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm showing Eduardo Morales is in at 14. <laughs> Brian Gordon Mechanic says he's out. Melissa said the baby is out. Thank you, my baby. Right now, we have Eduardo Morales in at 14 on the 1776 to 1976 proof set. Yeah, I can't speak tonight. Should. Sold for $14 to Eduardo Morales. And Joe, you can take it away. Congratulations, Eduardo. Thank you, Robert. Okay. Next up, we have a 1987 Prestige proof set. Uh, $38 opening bid. Here's your box here. Your literature. Let me show you the coins. Again, this is a 1987 Prestige set. Here's the reverse. Who? So you get the uh, uh he, we've used the Congress, Congress dollar and then the clad half. It's thirty-eight dollars is the opening bid on this. Yeah, I know Cindy, it's gorgeous, isn't it? Oh, and it's in that cool looking book, keeping all safe and shiny. Please. Thank you, Les. <laughs> So the, this does have all the government packaging, paperwork, and uh, nice clean coins, like I <laughs> said. There's your Congress dollar. All the paraphernalia, Clinton all says. the paraphernalia. <laughs> Thank you, Marty. We got Marty Hart at 40, Wes at 44. So I'll just set this here and let you guys figure it out. Battle her out. And Marty at 50. What do you think, Tony? Can you go 51? Uh, Less? 
Ooh, very good, Tony. Tony at 55. Do we have 56? Oh, my goodness. Marty's at 60. Yes, Lincoln says, let us know if you're out. Thank you, guys. Les, are you still in? We got Marty at 60. Tony is out. Thank you, Tony. Les says he's out. Thank you, Les. Thank you, guys. So we have 61. Anybody? Tony's got it at 60 at the moment. No. Marty does. I'm sorry, Marty does. You're right. <clears throat> Thank you. <laughs> Lincoln corrected me, too. Thanks, Les. Thanks, Tony. Yes, thank you guys so much for your bids. Marty got it at 60. Anybody for 61? Yeah, we're going once. Marty holding at 60. Got it. Okay, let's go. go. Going once. 61, anybody? Going twice. Bam, Marty got it at $60. Thank you, Marty. Congratulations, Marty. Congratulations. That will be coming to you, sir. That's that prestige set, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay, let me get this up under here. Okay. Next up is a 2005S silver first 69 decam kansas state quarter here's your reverse it's an opening bid of ten dollars again it's the uh, kansas silver state quarter there's your coin and that's what we're bidding all them thank you ten dollars Oh, nice. Thank you, Les. Yeah, Alden at 10 and Les at 15. Oh, uh, Ed Wardo? Ed, yeah. At 16. Alden says he's out. Thank you, Alden. Thanks, yes, Alden. Hidden. It should have had an elephant on there instead of the buffalo. But I can't imagine Kansas would have a buffalo. I mean, an elephant. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. There's a concept. So Ed's got it at 16. Do we have 17, anyone? That is a gorgeous, gorgeous coin, isn't it, Penny Parent? Thank you, Flora. <laughs> yeah, there were no pachyderms in Kansas hidden. Prove it. Prove it. <laughs> Last call, guys. Ed's got it at 16. We need 17, anyone? Ooh, Les snipes it at 17. Uh, Les has got it at 17, and we got 18. Thank you, Les. Les, you turned out to be a little sniper. I'm kind of surprised. That's kind of cool. <laughs> <laughs> Les has got it at 17, and we got 18 anyone. Let us know if you're out or staying in. Hmm. Hmm. Going once. Thank you, Les and Ed. Sniper, no sniping. <laughs> I know, Clinton. Every time I hear that, I think of that. Going twice. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, Dora the Explorer, I love her. Stop. Please, stop. <laughs> Sold to Les for 17. Thank you, sir. Congratulations, Les. Thank you. Thank you, Les. Okay, next up. We have the 2005S uh PCGS MS68 satin finish, Kansas State Quarters. They're both clad, so you get the P and the D. Um, the opening bid on these is $24. Okay. 
and Ooh. that price would be in du in uh, because of the satin finish. And it's an MS sixty eight on both of them. Right. So these were circulated coins that obviously because of the MS Come on camera. Robert took the energy for the camera. There we go. Mm -hmm. So you get your P and your D. Uh, MS sixty eight satin finished Kansas State quarters. Uh, Twenty four dollars is the opening bid. If anybody's interested. Look at the difference in the two coins. No, oh, there's really not in there. It's probably the camera, but oh. if you were to put it up to that silver one, you'd see a noticeable difference. <laughs> Clinton's plush and girl are no more satin finish for him. Uh, <laughs> right on, Clinton. <laughs> Last call, guys. $24 for this bid. On these gorgeous buffaloes in Kansas. <laughs> MS-68 Kansas is a D-mint and a P-mint. Oh, we combined the mint zone. Ah. See what I have to put up with people? Oh, you love it. Every day. He loves it every day. <laughs> every day. Hey, Brian's World. All right, bid's closed. Thank you, guys. All right, thank you. I'm going to pass this back to Robert. And hello again. Uh, okay, guys, next up, we got a 1966 Kennedy half dollar. This is a 40% silver, and it's a double die reverse. The three are, it's a class two double die. I need $8 to open this up. I'm showing you all the stars. The stars are nicely doubled around the whole thing. You can see the doubling on the stars right there. Uh, it actually shows up in some of the letters, guys. Uh, it's hard to see it on the letters. You'd see it the best on the stars. Uh, I don't know. There you can see it on the R down through there. So I'll show you the entire coin for your grade. So you can look at the grade as well. Just bear with me. Okay. And there you go. This is the reverse. Here is the obverse of it. Um, I would say it's an uncirculated coin. Sorry, I gotta adjust my camera some. This is a nice uncirculated coin. And I don't have my cat up, so I can see. There we go. Okay, there we go. I won't tell Lincoln. Joe, don't read what Lincoln said. <laughs> Okay, like I say, 1966. Kennedy half dollar with a double die reverse. I'm just I will set that. it right there. <laughs> I need eight dollars to open this and get us up out of here, guys. And thank you, Joe. Joe will get us up out of here at 8. Guys, this is a little bit more of a, a little bit harder to come by. Well, I don't know how hard it is to come by, to be honest with you, because not a lot of people search them. At least I know I don't search a lot of the 60% uh, or 40 percenters. Hello, Sherry, uh, Sherry Ward. Sherry Ward. <laughs> Okay, guys, you're going to let Joe have it at eight. Nah, it's fine with me. That's what I'm thinking, Cindy. Joe ain't no dummy. He, he's getting the right stuff. Hi. Where's my Karen V at? I would think she would want that. Uh, let's see, Tony. It's Mint State, Tony. Uh, let's see, hold on, Tony. I'm looking. 
I got Eduardo Morales first at nine. Uh, you know, Tony, I'm only going to give that a 63 grade. I'm only going to give it a 63 grade. Uh, Les Wally at $10. Thank you, Les. We appreciate it. We had Les Wally in at $10. <clears throat> I'm going to be switching back and forth on my cameras, guys, so I hope you bear with me uh, just because I'm doing some varieties. Okay, we have Les Wiley at $10, and Lincoln's asking, do we hear 11? If not, he's going to shout us down. I'm doing my darndest, Diane. <laughs> I got Alden Davis at 11. I never hear the bell. <laughs> gotcha. I, know. I need to turn off the coffee pot. This is your last uh, coffee. Anyway. I like coffee. We got to hurry this up, man. I'm out of coffee. <laughs> there you go. You're done, but it's done. <clears throat> Thank you, Les Wiley. Les says he's out. We appreciate that, Les. Thank you, Les. <laughs> You're used to it, Cindy. <laughs> Thank you, Eduardo. We appreciate that. So, Dalton Davis, all in nice pickup. Alden Davis wins that at eleven dollars. That'll go in your basket, Alden. And I gotta switch the camera and give you guys a view of the next coin that we've got up on the auction block. Yeah, let me get it in here. It's a nineteen fifty nine. This is the D over D. This is a nice, uh, nice, nice stage. It is an uncirculated coin. I need five dollars to get us started on it. I wanted to show you the variety. You can see it's a nice strong D over D over D. And it's from 1959. It's also FIBA Stanton 501. Just bear with me and I will get you a complete picture of the whole coin. <clears throat> Thank you, Mama Lou. We got Mama Lou coming in at five right now. I got Sir Egg at six. Uh, let's get the camera working a little bit. Come on, camera. I turn the fan on for the camera to try and cool off my camera to see if it'll take and help it to focus. There you go. <clears throat> There's the reverse. Uh, let me take a peek here real quick. It's got what I call fly specs, so I'm only going to grade it a 63, guys. <laughs> I try to be very, very conservative. Alden Davis, uh, let me mark that down. Okay. Thank you very much, Alden. That's real nice of you. Joe, that's going to go in your package as a gift from Alden Davis. That. 1966 double die reverse. I got Mama Lou at eight dollars. Thank you, Ma. Uh, yes, you can. Just take as long as you got it marked right. You know how to do it. I did, yeah, I, I put it on my paperwork as well. Okay, I got Sir Reg at 850. We have Sir Reg in at 850. Guys, this is nice. Mama Lou at nine. Thank you, Mama Lou. This is one of those better RPMs, real easy to see, and it's also three of them. It's a D over D over D. Sir Reg says he's out. Thank you very much, Sir Reg. Yep. Triple D's. Wow. I wonder. Hmm. 
This is a family channel too, I guess, huh? <laughs> I believe that Lincoln is wanting to make a bid of $10. Thank you, Lincoln. I don't know how this channel works, but there it is. Diane's got big. There you go. Oh, it does, uh, Cindy. Mama Lou at ten fifty. is Isn't there like a Triple D uh, ranch or something? <laughs> I got Lincoln back at 11 that's right, D D D. <laughs> I got Lincoln at eleven. Okay, Mama Lou, this is a big coin. You can still it's within reach. Oh, uh huh. I don't know, but it's a sweet coin. I know that. <clears throat> we got Lincoln in that 11, guys. <clears throat> Last call, y'all. <clears throat> Art ring at 12. Bill Betts at 12.50. That went quick. I got Bill Betts at 1250 as my high bidder right now. <laughs> Sniper. Yeah, Bill Betts, you've been pay paying attention to Art Ring. We got Bill Betts at 1250 right now. <clears throat> ha, 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 Art. Oh, Bill Betts, there's no 50 cent bets. Our bids after ten dollars. Sorry about that. I again, this is not my channel. <clears throat> uh, right now it is Mama Lou at thirteen. We got Mama Lou. She's gonna break it at thirteen. I have Mama Lou first. Bill bets at thirteen. Lincoln's at fifteen. I got Lincoln now at fifteen. Thank you, Bill Betts. I appreciate it. Bill Betts is out. <clears throat> Art Ring, you only found one, really? That's it? And, well, you've got, so I think you got some 59D rolls, so you might have more. Who knows? Uh, Anthony. Uh, my auctions, whatever I'm selling, I ship like normal, like my other channel. And Joe ships his stuff like he normally does. So if you buy from me, it'll come from me. And if you have a basket here, we will combine it for you so that you're shipping, you save on shipping. Right now, we got Lincoln is a high bidder at 15. Sold to Lincoln at fifteen dollars, and he says, "Send to Mama Lewis." Or Mama Lou, I'm sorry. <clears throat> Congratulations, Lincoln, and that's awful sweet of you. Congratulations, Mara. <clears throat> Hey, that's a nice one to get too, Mama Lou. You'll like that one. I don't know if you've ever had varieties before, but that is a sweet one. Okay, Art Ring, pay attention. <clears throat> Next up, we have a 1964 Denver. This is an original bank wrap rule. Uh, guys, this comes uh, Watertown, Wisconsin. Uh, Art, this came out of the bag, and I can tell you right now, this first coin, I was able to look at it. It's got that bar across the four. And it's got the bar under the L. So I do know this roll will have varieties in it. Um, if I thought I could get it under my scope, I would. But that will be kind of difficult. So <clears throat> this here is 
you know, it's a 64 Denver, and I need one dollar to open the bid on it. And like I said, I do know for a fact there is varieties in here because I seen on this roll. If I could show it to you, the four has the extra bar, and under the L, you can see the bar of it also. I just cannot get this under my scope. I got Alden Davis is the first one in at five dollars, guys. Mama Lou at six. Uh, guys, and by the way, if Art wants to share, I believe he said he was finding an average of two of these double dies in each roll. I have Tony and Nero in at eight. I got Mama Lou at nine. Mama Lou's coming in at nine. Les Wiley at ten. Uh, Alden, you just keep getting just a little late. Mama Lou at eleven. <clears throat> So I can guarantee you guys you'll find at least one double die in this roll. It was guaranteed to be one double die. I can see it myself. I got Mama Lou coming in at 13. Tony Yanaro at 15. Young Coin Hunter, that's sort of kind of the ideal of it. Mama Lou at 16. Art Ring says, 1DO001 double die. Art, thank you very much. I got Mama Lou at 16 right now. Thank you, Les. Thank you, Les. Les Wally says he's out. Uh, Clinton, that's because people are finding a lot of stuff. I don't search them, and I... I only deal with the original bank wraps, guys. I mean, I have dealt with tubes and things like that. But a lot of people, I mean, they're just finding too much Clinton that that's why they go so strong. I got Mama Lou at 20, Anthony Goodley at 22. I'm starting to wonder, Anthony, by the looks of the bids, has uh, Art been telling you guys that he's finding five or ten of these double dies in a row? Because he told me too. Now, Art's right there, so he's welcome to take him. He's welcome to back up what he said, because that's what he told me. And this one, I just know for a fact, because I looked at the first one and I seen it. Oh, uh, okay, Anthony. I was just wondering, maybe he's telling other people we got 10 of them in there or something. Tony Inaro is out. Thank you, Tony. I appreciate it. <clears throat> Clinton, one day we'll get you one. I'll make certain of that. I got Anthony Goodley at 25 now. Uh, let's see. Mama Lou and everybody on Joe's channel, everyone took and watched me take and open the bag that these come out of. These bags were sealed back in the 60s. I'm not certain exactly when in the 60s, but they were sealed in the 60s. Uh, this is authentic. I mean, I can tell you that it is a good one. I haven't opened them. I haven't looked. Uh, Art Ring's the one who told me that he found the double dies in them. And he just mentioned the one it was. He says one and two in each roll. So there you go. That's what you're looking at. I don't know what the... I don't even know what the value of that double die is, to be honest with you. Okay, I got Anthony Goodley at $30. Mama Lou says she's out. Thank you very much, Mama Lou. I appreciate that very much. <coughs> Okay, Lincoln says we're at the last call, guys. Ah, Art, I don't think, you know, believe it or not, well, I don't know. She does have a pick on some of those, Art. Is there something I should know about? You want to you wanna talk to me? Congratulations, Anthony Goodley. You get that one at $30. 64 D, it's line 15. Congratulations, Anthony. And Joe, I guess it's right back to you, my friend. That's my three. Alrighty, Robert. Thank you. <laughs> Next up. For us, is a 1946 S. 
uh, AU Roosevelt Dime, $5 opening bid. Here's your obverse. It's a nice, you see a little toning there. You'll see real toning in a moment here. I think this is an end coin, but it's attractive toning nonetheless. Thank you, Alden. Uh, it does not have full split bands. It's close, but it does not have full split bands, you know. If Alden at $5. Thank you, Alden. Robert at 6 Thank you, Robert. Thank you, Robert. We have Alden at 650 <clears throat> 650 I didn't even know he could count in 50 cent increments. <laughs> <laughs> Robert said seven, still there. <laughs> just, just teasing Alden. Yes, Clinton. Attractive toning is attractive. Alden said eight there. Eight. See, he Snack. knows how to count. Were you talking to me, Clinton? Yes, Penny. I can do that. Do I have an attractive toning? He does. He's very attractive. Uh, he's you guys are funny. <laughs> Alden's at eight. Thank you, Alden. Thank you, Robert. I'll show you the reverse. And Robert again. is out. Thank you, Robert. Thank you, Robert. That's your attractive Tony. I think that's a green jealous button there, Clinton. I don't know. Alden's got it at eight. And do we hear nine? Nine dollars, anyone? Anyone. <clears throat> Otherwise, we can call that Don Lincoln. Thank you. Last call. Alden's got it at eight. Do we have nine? Got my binoculars out looking for the sniper. Going once. Who's going to be the sniper this round? We got quite a few snipers here. Something. You're welcome, Penny Parent. Going twice. Dun, 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 dun. Sold to Alden for eight dollars. Thank you, Alden. Congrats, Alden. That'll be coming to you, sir. Wait, that was number thirteen. Yeah. For eight dollars. You the man, dude. You the man. All right. Next up is. Uh oh. Tell 20, me the rules. Twenty eighteen D. Lincoln Memorial original bank wrap rolls. There's 10 available for $4 a roll. Uh, there's double ears that were discovered in these roll and not these rolls. Well, whatever. In the rolls. In 2018 D's. Um, so anyway, yeah, they're four bucks and four bucks a roll. Buy it now if anybody's interested. Wait for Lincoln to say go and go away. And he said go. Okay, Cindy. I'll take a look. What did you do? And Robert got a bin for one. Thanks, Robert. Oh, gosh. Now I got to write things down. Um, let me grab another roll. Just... Oh my goodness. Thanks, and Les. Art wants four. Les wants one. Okay, hang on, guys. They know how this works. It takes a little bit to. These are four dollars? Yeah. Okay. Come on, camera. Well, you guys seeing what you need to see? We'll get this written down. And Art wants four of them, right? Yes. Les wants one. Les wants one. Robert's got one. Sergey wants two. Sereg has two. I'm going to call him Sergey because it's Sergey. Okay, Alden. Have a good night, buddy. Thank you. Thank you, Alden. <laughs> oh, it rolled away. Oh, no. 
I don't want to be sold. Anyway. Okay. So Lassa's got one. Sergey has two. <laughs> all right. If we're all done with that, we can. Do we have any more? Shut her down, Lincoln. How many we got left? Uh, how many you got there? Six. Oh. Seven. Six. Seven. Eight. We got plenty. If anybody wants any more, let us know. If not, we're going to just move on. Who had this? Right on, Anthony. Thank you. Lot 70. Oh, yeah. Oh. That'll be coming up in our next round. So, Penny. Okay. Yeah, I'll just I'll one. figure that out in a minute. All right. Oh goodness. Make a girl work. Uh. Thank you, Lincoln. That is close. Cool. Thank you to everybody that bought some of those. Okay, next up, we have a 1964 Silver Proof set with a $25 open <laughs> bid. Let me show you your coin. Come on. I think Robert jinxed my camera. Here's your half. Let me get it to come out a little better. There. there we go. There's your half, your quarter, nickel, dime, and your cent. Let me show you the reverse. These are nice, clean. As you can see, the spotless coins. We have a $25 opening bid on this set, if anybody is interested. Again, it's a 1964 silver proof set. <clears throat> um, it doesn't have the accented hair, so there's no need to look for that. I have uh, that set. It's a nice clean set, clean coins, $25 opening bid. $25 and may make it yours. Clear no spotting, he asked Wes. Clear no spotting. I can show them again. Okay, Lincoln, I got it. Thank you. Any interest for $25 on this beautiful Philadelphia U.S. Mint set? That's your obverse and here's your reverse again 1964 so as you can see there's not a mark on any of them that i can see and it comes with all the government packaging thank you less 25 dollars for less thank you less we got 25 do we have 26 yep anyone yep. 25 looking for 26 those rolls always keep me hopping. Last has got it for 25. Do we hear 26 from anyone? Last call. And we're going once. Sold to Les for $25. Thank you, Les. Thank you, Les. Nice pickup, buddy. All right. I'll go back to Robert. 
Okay, you guys, we're going to go with another little miniature. <coughs> uh, Westport Port Mint Gold Certificate, uh, 14 karat, 3.2 grains, or I think uh, I got it. I figured it up to where it was about $8 worth of gold in the Cougar Ant. The penny's there just to show you the size of it. There's the Cougar Ant. It is 14 karat gold, and there's the paperwork for it. And I need $8 to open this up. And if you can't afford the real Cougar Ant at whatever the price is today, here's your nice little miniature. I got Joe's going to open us a 10. Thank you, Joe. <clears throat> We got Joe Durbin's gonna open it up at 10. That's right, Penny. It is cute. Uh, it might be hidden. It was sitting on my table. It might be a triple die. I don't know. <laughs> and that's not a joke, uh, Hidden. That's not a joke. I love you, Hayden. I got Les Wiley at $12. Thank you, Les. We got Les Wiley in at $12. Where's Oz? He likes cute coins. There's another cute one. I say a nice little miniature made with real gold. It's 14 karat. That's the purity of it. Uh -huh. Okay. So I got Les Wiley's in at $12. Joe says he's out. Thank you very much, Joe. Thank you, Joe. Yeah, he's I love you. You are on my back. Yeah, Hidden, we're going to get back out and do a dinner one of these days. Uh-oh, Ford, what's wrong with your computer? Okay. Okay, it looks to me like we got Les Wiley's in at 12. Oh, yeah, Hidden, it's real good. Dinner's real good. Or made me a wonderful dinner tonight. There you go, Les. Hey, there you go, Les. That'd be a great gift for a grandchild. Congratulations, Les. You're going to win that. Congratulations, Les. That'll go into your package. Okay, here I'm just setting it off to the side floor. Oops. Okay, next up, we have the 1975 United States Mint Set. Guys, this has got the Eisenhower dollars in it. And these have got the Type 1 Reverse, the large block on both the P and the D. So this is the Type 1. This is a little more expensive for a uh, set. And I need $7 to open this up. There you go. They both have, uh, like I say, both of them have. So you get the P and the D with the Type 1 Reverses on them. And I need 7 to open it up. And I got Mama Lou's going to open us at 7. Thank you, Mama Lou. I got Mama Lou in first at seven dollars. <laughs> I got Sir Reg at eight dollars now. Sir Reg is in at eight. Mama Lou's right back at nine. Yeah, guys, the type uh, let like me say the type ones are the first reverses. They stopped doing them about halfway. I don't know how far through, but I do know the type ones don't come out too often, so. I got Sir Reg at 950, Mama Lou right back again at 10. You get both of the dollars, the halves and the quarters, all of them bicentennial years, except for the penny, nickel, and dime. Those are the only ones that will not be bicentennials. <clears throat> Mama Lou is at $12 now. We got Mama Lou the high bidder at $12. Sir Egg at 13. Mama Lou says she's up. Thank you very much, Mama Lou. We appreciate it. I 
Alright, Brian's World of Mechanic at 14 now. We have Brian's World at 14. Everybody likes those Type 1 reverses. Sir Rag at 15. Brian's World is coming right back at 16. And Sir Red comes back at 17. Brian is back down now at 19. We have Brian in at 19 as the high bidder for the Type 1. Sir Reg says it's out. Thank you very much, Sir Reg. We really appreciate that. Is anybody else interested on the Type 1 PND 1975 mint set with the Bicentennial half dollar, quarter, and dollar? And the dollar has the Type 1 reverse. Right now we have Brian at 19. And it's being called down as we speak. Congratulations, Brian. You get that one at 19. Nice pickup. Nice set. Okay, my next one, I got to change up my camera again for you. Okay, this is a 1964 Denver Kennedy half dollar. Uh, there's some nicks on it, guys. Uh, you can see it right there on the T. I'll show you the grade here in a second. I just wanted to show you the doubling on it. This is the double dollar 902. There you go. Now that you've seen the doubling on it, I don't know if it shows down here. It shows on the 9. Yeah, it shows on the 9 and the 6. Uh, down on the south part of the 4th. Uh, let me show you the grade of it so you can see the whole thing. Just bear with me one second. Okay, let me get this down here. Okay, I I need no mean bid of sixteen dollars on this coin. Uh, I say it's the 902, 1964 Denver. Uh, I would grade this. I'm only going to grade this an AU58, just because of the nicks and dings. It probably would make a sixty-one, but. I'm only going to grade it a 58. That's why I took and put it for 16. Normally, if this was uh, an uncirculated, say, 63, I would probably price it out at $18. So, thank you, Joe. Joe's going to show us some interest at the $16 range. I appreciate it, Joe. Add Joe Dorman at 16. Anybody else interested at 17? You guys give Joe all the good deals. I'm out of coffee. <laughs> Yes, I'm a hillbilly, uh, hidden. How you like that? <laughs> yeah, I'm listening. <laughs> Mama Lou, I, I say that often. That's right, Penny. It is silver. This is 90% silver. Sold to Joe Durbin at sixteen dollars. Congratulations, Joe. Okay, and I'm gonna send it right back to you, Joe. 
That's right, Anthony, they do. You're at 16? Huh? You're at 16, right? Small day? Yeah. What the heck do I got going on here? Hang on, everybody. Having a little technical difficulty. I didn't do it. It ain't my fault. I'm not sure why it keeps going to you, but I'll get it. Oh, it loves me. That's why. <laughs> I think you're right. <laughs> yeah. Well, well. Let's I'm not see. ready. What the heck, Henry? Let me go back to my camera. Uh -huh. Start there. There we go. No, we didn't go. Maybe it's because you got a tab down. Did you mute it? No, I'm not, not muted. Hmm. All right. Let me try it again. Why? What the heck? Did you have to click on that? I don't know what I have to click on. Oh, that's your block. That is you. I know. I've shown both. There we go. All right. Oh. Sorry for that, everybody. I'm illiterate. I'm not kidding. Our next item up. There you go. Is a 1960 P small date. Proof set 1960 small date proof set in the go uh, original government packaging. We have an opening bid of $25 on this, and it has the small date scent in it. Here's your <laughs> path, uh, your quarter. Some of them are it's the plastic. You're seeing it's not the coin. Uh, there's your small date scent. It has very let me turn it this way so you can see it better. Hopefully. We got Robert at 25, now Lincoln at 26. Thank you guys. And here's your reverse. Lincoln's holding it at 26. Do so we have 27? So again, it's a 1960 small date proof set. Uh, $25 was the opening bid, and we're at 27 now, I think. 26. 26 from Lincoln, looking for 27. Thank you, you guys. Yeah, I should have typed it in, huh, Lincoln? <laughs> Whoop. Going the wrong way. Now my camera's going to hate me. Anyway, that's what we're looking at on this one. This is my red glove. Right. Uh, yep, yeah, I agree, Penny. Parent. We got 26 with Lincoln. Robert, do you want it for 27? <clears throat> Sirig at 27. Thank you, Sirig. Push this darn camera. Smack it. There we go. And Lincoln's out. Take over, Lincoln. Thank you. Thank you, Lincoln. And Robert is out. Thank you, Robert. Sarah is holding it at 27. Do we have 28? Anyone? Hey, Floor. Give me a half dollar holder. Some beer I happen to know if there's a roof in it. Hello, A.B. Silver. A.B. Silver. We're going once. 
with Siri get 27. Do we have 28? Anyone? Going twice. And sold to Siri for $27. Thank you, Siri. Which one is that, number 16? Yeah. Congratulations, Siri. Congratulations. Congratulations. Come to you. Congratulations. Uh, that will come to you, sir. Um. <laughs> Very awful, huh, honey? Next up, we have a 1923 piece dollar. Opening bid of $28. See the little spot right there? Ooh. Little pony spot, whatever. But Her hair's flying in the wind. Nonetheless, this is a nice, I'd call it a high AU probably coin. 28 bucks. There's your reverse. And here's your obverse. 19 Thank you, Tony, for coming in. Appreciate you and your bids. Appreciate it. Have a good night. Thank you, Tony. Have a good night. That's what we're bidding on, folks. A little closer. Takes a little while for the camera to kind of catch up. See the nick on the cheek, a couple marks on the neck. Um, I guess it's like an AU. Let me flip it and show you the reverse one more time, a little closer. Yes, Lincoln, do we have 28, anyone? Opening bed. 28. That's a gorgeous eagle. Yeah. You can see its feathers really plain, especially on the neck. For such an old coin, it's in amazing shape. Well, it's in alright shape, but yeah. Well, it's a nice example for, for a twenty-three. Yeah. Yes, Penny Parent, that is a nice piece. For twenty-eight dollars, we're asking for everyone. Let's start that bit out right. Thank you, Lincoln. Lincoln's got it for twenty-eight. Thank you, Lincoln. So do we hear 29, anyone? Lincoln's got it at 28. Who's going to take it for 29? Last call. All right, last call. Yes, ma'am. I can't do all the fancy stuff you do, Lincoln, so. <laughs> Was that good, Penny Parent? Did you That's funny, Tony. Okay, last call, guys. Going once. Lincoln's got it at 28. Going once. Hey, Francis. John Francis. Hello, John. Welcome. Yes, Hidden. It is a sweet coin. Going twice. Do you want me to do it, Lincoln? Hmm. Okay, I will. Sold to Lincoln for 28. <laughs> Congratulations, Lincoln. That's coming to you, buddy. Eha. Hers Purdy. All right. Next up. We have a 2009 American Silver Eagle, $25 opening bid. Let me show you the reverse. 
is 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 what American Silver Eagle. Okay. Nice clean coin. Just a couple light, very light spots on a couple spots, but. Brian's world's got it for twenty five. Thank you, Brian. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Brian. We got twenty five. We hear twenty six. Anyone? Gray box? No. No box. It's just uncirculated. It was it come out of a tube of. Of uh, a monster tube of uh, came out of a tube of uh, silver eagles. Karen, excuse me. You getting so tired, honey? You it's just food. in a flip. Me too. I better be fresh. Thanks, Lincoln. You there we are. Last call, Brian's World's got it for 25. Do we have 26? Thank you, Karen. Going once. Brian's World's got it for 25. Going twice. World for $25. Congratulations, Brian. Congrats, Brian. Send it over to Robert. Hey, guys. And next, we have another bicentennial. This is the 75 proof set. Okay. Sorry, it's got the S on the dime. I wish it didn't. But we do have the type one. This will match the mint sets that we sold earlier. It's got the type one reverse on the Eisenhower dollar. So if you need a type one proof reverse for your sets, this would be perfect for you. I need nine dollars to open this set up, and that's what you're bidding on that right there. So okay. I got Karen V first at ten dollars. Brian at eleven. I got Brian in now at 11. Here, I'll show you the reverse of it so you guys can see the type 1 reverse. That's right, so a reg at 12. Karen, this is not my channel. You got to have $1 increments after $10. Sorry, girl. That's uh, what I'm told here. I got Eduardo Morales at 14. And Brian back at 16. Brian needs this to finish his setup. Eduardo Morales at 18 now. Brian is right back at 20. We got Brian in at 20. Eduardo at 22. Brian back at 24 with a quickness, too. Eduardo at 29. Brian right back at 31 now. I got Eduardo at 33. I'll take and turn this over. Oh. There we go. Thank you very much, Karen. I've got Brian at 34. Good try, uh, Karen. I got Eduardo at 36. Brian is out now. Yep. Yeah. Good try, Brian. Real good try. Thank you very much for letting us know. We appreciate that very much. 
We have Eduardo at 36. <laughs> uh, two more. Yep, at this one. Okay, I got Eduardo Morales at 36, and Megan's calling us down. Congratulations, Eduardo. You win that one. That will go into your package. Congratulations. Let me change this, because the next one we have is, yeah, we got to use the scope for it. Okay, guys, next up is a 1973 Denver. It may not show real good on this. I'm going to try and zoom out. That might make it show a little better. This is the Double Die Auburn's 1973 Denver. I need $30 to open this one up, guys. This is a little bit better variety. You can see nice, strong doubling on In God We Trust. Let me show you the grade of this coin now. Okay, there you go. I think it's a nice uncirculated coin. I got Karen D. Thank you, Karen. She's going to open us up at 30. Good luck, Karen. I hope you get it. This is a nice one to pick up. I got Karen D. Is a high bidder at 30. I know Karen's working on a nice set of Kennedy half dollars. She's getting a lot of the varieties. This one is a Thieves Stanton. It's the Double Die Auburst, the FS 101. That is the proper attribution down below it. Cindy, I think Karen loves those Kennedys as much as you do your Morgans. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I got you, Brian. Congratulations, Karen. That's a nice deal on that one. That one will fit real nice into your set, just so that you know. Okay, guys, and the last one I've got coming up for this auction. Let me change the camera again. Okay, this is the famous 1935 Buffalo Nickel Double Die Reavers. I'll show you the grade in just a second. I need $85 to open this up. You can see the doubling right there on $0.05. Cent. Real nice. Real easy. This is in decent shape for the coin. I mean, uh, you don't have to pay four or $500 like you do on eBay because of the grades and stuff. So let me show you the grade of it so you can look it over a little bit better. Just bear with me. Okay, here you go. That's the obverse uh, on it. <clears throat> I'm figuring this to be about a fine 15, guys. That's my ideal of the grade on it is a fine 15. If you got good eyes, better than mine, you know, these things are, uh, well, they're just, you can see, uh, Nice ones. Ha 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 ha. Ha ha ha. Oh, 
Miss Hand, is she? Oh, uh, Jeff, she's just in love with you. <laughs> you might be right about that, Brian. Well, this wouldn't be a bad one to do that on. Uh, if we don't sell it, that's okay, guys. It'll, we'll bring it up another time. We never worry about these kind of coins. They sell themselves. Yes, it is, Cindy. There's no problems. In, a, in the lower grades like this, you got to watch out for the problems. Uh, this one, I think, has a nice no-problem surface, so I, it'll be an okay coin for me to get rid of. We'll move it. I promise you that. Heck, actually, this is the first time I put it up for sale. But it is a pretty coin. Okay, thank you, Lincoln. Joe, right back to you. I'm out of stuff to sell. Thank you. Thank you, Joe. Thank you, Ben. Thank you, Joe. Thank you, Flappy Ron. Thank you, Ron. Thank you, Robert and Floor. You two don't go anywhere. We're not doing yet. We're going to watch the rest of the auction. Heck, I ain't done having fun. Right Yay. on. All right, our next item is a uh, 1983 Prestige Proof Set. Now, this one does not have the box or the COA, but it is in the nice, oh, fancy, genuine leather crafted case. We got Lincoln at 30. You get the uh, clad half, your silver dollar. That would be the the Olympic silver dollar, the discus thrower, Los Angeles Olympics in 83. Oh. So that's what you're bidding on. Just remember, there's no box or COA with this one, but it's a beautiful set nonetheless. Nice, clean coins, clean packaging as far as the case and all of that. Mabalu's at 31. Lincoln's out. Thank you, Lincoln. Thank you, Lincoln. And that was taken over. Thank you, Mama Lou. Sure. Thanks, Lincoln. Thank you, Penny Parent. It is. I'm going to show you guys the reverse one more time. Look at that. That's the Olympics, dude. Los Angeles. That's the reverse of your dollar if it would show. Ooh, Mama Lou's out. Thank you, Mama Lou. Robert for 32. Oh. Karen at 33. Yeah, I'm going to go back to the Hopper's 83 set. So that's what you're bidding on. Thank you, Robert. Thank, Thank you, Karen, Karen. Mama Lou. Karen's got it at 33. Have we got 34, Robert? Mama Lou is out. Thank you, Robert. And Robert is out. Thank you, Robert. Yes. Lincoln, do we hear 31 for anyone? <laughs> 34. Hmm. That was a slip of a tongue. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. Karen's got it at 33. We could have 34, anyone. Last call. <laughs> Cindy, I'm tired. Yep. <laughs> this auction was, oh, Armando. This auction's a faster paced one than I've been involved in before. This is mm, fun, fun, fun. Thank you, Edward. Edward's got it at 34. What do you think, Karen? Karen says, yes, I want it. 35. Touche, Karen. Okay. Edward. Thank you, Karen. True story, Cindy. 
Edward, do you want it for 36? Karen's got it at 35. What? I like it too. <gasps> he does, he says. He's got 36. Karen, can we get there? Oh, Karen says, I want that baby at 38. Ed, it's up to you, bud. We've got a battle going on here on our second to last item. <laughs> Hidden. Ooh, Ed. I'm he wants sure, it for 39, Ed. Karen. Karen says 40, Ed. What's the answer back on that one? Uh, Karen's got it for 40. Ed, you got 41? Forty one, Edward says he answered back. Karen, you need to come back now. She says she's out. Karen, thank you for your bidding war. Thank Ed's you. got it at forty one. Thank you, Karen. <laughs> Lincoln says last call, folks. What? Penny parent. Yes. I bet you it's Several people are. <laughs> so is Brian. Definitely, Cindy. She did a good job. Going twice. It's got it at 41. So. Okay. Sold Eduardo for $41. Did I say that right? Congrats. Yes. Congratulations, Ed. Send us an email so I can get your details, please. Amazing. That was fun, guys. Yes. I love was, it when it gets good. like that. All right. This is our last item up tonight. Here's what you have. An annex, uncirculated details, net AU50 grade, 1900. BAM, 16A DDR. It's a hot 50. It says scratched and cleaned. Let me show you the reverse. I can show you the. Huh. I know, right, Cindy? Let me get a little closer here. Anyway, this is opening bid of fifty dollars. Try to get it so you can see better. And Brian's got it for fifty dollars. Thank you, Brian. Because he loves you, Cindy. <laughs> <laughs> Gorgeous. Let's try to show the toning there a little bit. Let me get back to the adverse. <clears throat> For sure, Penny Parent. Do we hear 51? Brian's World's got it at 50. There you can. You can see the face a little better. There's your scratch behind the head, I think, that they're talking about. Behind the head? I quite oh, find it's just maybe. Real light. It's not right back over there. So, anyway. Last call. This is what you're bidding on. Brian's World's got it for 50. Do we hear 51 anyone? There's an open tilt. It's over. Hopefully I showed it good enough. If I didn't, just let me know. Do it. That, no, the whole scope, scope's not hooked up, Penny Parent. Sorry. Or is it? I could try. Hold on, Lincoln. Yeah, hold up for a second, Lincoln. I'll try to put it under. <clears throat> We're going to try to scope it. No. You didn't used to be able to do this. I don't know how well this is going to show the uh, scratch, but we'll see what we can do. <clears throat> All right. 
That's her. Okay. There's your scratch. There it is. <laughs> oh, no. <It> might be. <laughs> so you want to go ahead and keep going? I'm just trying to show it under here. If any, there's a little nick there by your nose. Sorry, I got this upside down. There's your liberty. Let me show you the reverse. What I can under here. Yes, and you said show the reverse. Brian says he never sweats. It says where it's extract. Seriously. <laughs> right. There's that lovely bird. Thank God we trust. Let me show you the rim. Ooh, look at that bird. Look at me. What? See, your heart is palpitating. Mm -hmm. Take a Xanax. <laughs> <laughs> Lincoln says, just say the word Joe and it's soul. Well, okay, let me go back to the other camera and see if that showed what anybody wanted to see. So, Lincoln, who's got it right now again? Brian's got it at 50, is that right? Arrows, please. Oh. Okay. Anyone at 51? Arrows, Robert? No, and you're not blocked. He just couldn't. He showed it, and maybe it was just too slow. Uh, come on. I don't know if I have to go back to the scope. I can. Yeah. It was very tiny hidden. Sold to Brian's world. Thank you, Brian. Thank you, Brian. That Thank is coming to you. Thank you, everyone, for the interest. That will be coming to you, Brian. And I thank you. Oh, I'm sorry, hidden. Oh, I thought I showed it to you, hidden. Sorry, guys. Didn't anyway, so. that was our last item for tonight. I'm going to share me and Robert. Um, Hello again, everybody. Thank you all for, for coming to hang out with us. We had a good time. I hope you guys all did. Yep, we appreciate all the bidders and everyone coming in for the support. Thanks for the thumbs up. That sounded like we had a good time. Right on. Um, and yeah, Brian, that last one was a beautiful pickup. Joe, I think the doubling on that was the arrows. That was the main pickup on that. That's why I was asking. Okay. Yep. The DDR. Right. That's what I was looking for to see which one. Because there was a couple of them, and I didn't know which one it was. Right. I didn't. I wasn't even there. My head was somewhere else. I'm sorry about that. Yeah, um, no, that's okay. I mean, hey, Brian deserves a good, you know, everyone deserves a good deal every now and then. I've got a bunch of different varieties, so. Uh, right, Cindy, I I agree. I seen the scratch, and I agreed with that. The cleaning was like, I don't know, but who knows? It's all who looked at it. Um, let's do another giveaway real quick, Robert. Just thank everybody for coming. I got these right here. Uh, I got a 1912 S or yeah, S Barber, a 14 D Barber quarter and a 16 Barber dime. When Lincoln says go number one through 35, we'll, we'll do that quick and then we'll, uh, wrap her up so so this is just the, turned over the sheet of paper to joey bear and there you go ready 
So yeah, you got a barber half, quarter, and dime. They're all well circulated, but they're free. Lincoln has to say go first, people. Now you can go. Okay. Then you'll be tying down. Ha! <laughs> He's used to it. <laughs> <laughs> David, one through thirty-five. <laughs> oh, David. Hey, John Scott, David. Yep. Stop, 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 stop. Okay, stop. Stop, stop, stop. Let me show you the number. Number. Number six. Number, yeah, let me slide that back here. Number six. Oh, I'm going to see. I can go to the top. I see Anthony Goodley. Yeah, you see that too? Yeah, I, I see Anthony Goodley see first as well. Anthony Goodley's who I got first. Great. That's what I see also, Anthony Goodley. Congratulations, Anthony. Oh, you want to do something? Please yeah. come out to you, sir. Sure. Anthony Goodley. Anthony Goodley. Yeah. Anthony, you need to send me an email, please. Yeah. Or send Joe an email um, so that I can get your mailing address. And ship this out to you. Thank you very much. Uh, yes, thank you, everybody. Yeah, hey, Joe, you mind if I give a, do a giveaway? Absolutely, go for it. Okay, guys, uh, here, let me take and Floor's got to get out and write up a number first. Let mm -hmm. me change over my camera here so I can show you guys what you're going to be getting. This is what we're going to give away. This is 1963. The, the obverse, this is a roll end roll coin. This is uncirculated. One to 30, right? Yeah, 35. Maybe one to 35. One to 35. And Lincoln's got to say go first, guys, the same as before. Mm -hmm. No, we're not. Going to start. But this is an uncirculated. Like I say, it's an end roll. That's how you can tell from the toning on the obverse of it. So. Lincoln, anytime you want to say go, Floor's giving me will, a I, number. No, I will be the one who goes and go. No, no, Lincoln does. Okay. No, Lincoln will do it also. Well, Lincoln can call too. Lincoln, okay. anytime you're ready, I got a number. Stop, 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 stop. Stop. Wow, that was quick. Wow. That was really quick. That was really quick. Hold on, let me change my... Is it number 11? I don't have any idea. <laughs> Hold on, that's why I'm up there. Number 24. Yep. Yep. 24. I have, I showed John Scott was the first one with 24. Yep. Yep, I see it too. So. That's my daughter's birthday today in September. Uh, yeah, Karen B's got John. I show John. Yep, Diane has John. Yep, I have John Scott. Yep. Okay, John Scott, that will go. That's yours. Congratulations, John. Congrats, John. Can you unhide Brian? Unhide Brian? Sorry. What? You can unhide him if you did. Hello, Phil. Thanks for stopping in, sir. What'd you do, for? <laughs> wow, there's um, all kinds of people I didn't see earlier. Hi, guys. Thanks for coming in. Wild Billy's Bill's Hobbies. Oh, Wild Bill, yep. He's a buddy of mine. Uh, not now, Brian. Apparently, she hit the wrong one. You're unhidden, Brian. <laughs> huh? so, sorry about that, Brian. That was for Lynn and blame her. I think she was in cahoots. They were mad about that dollar. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> Brian. I'm using my phone and my finger was been sliding. And so I said, what did I do? I'm sorry, Brian. <laughs> That's what they all say, Floor. <laughs> 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 no, hidden's not hidden. He's hanging out under the coin. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, and she's singing for you. Huh? Oh, <laughs> that's so sweet. You got to give her grace for that. <laughs> that's great. Okay. <laughs> okay, Brian. That's fine. It's okay. Hey, Bill's hobbies. <laughs> Let's see here. Where are you at there, lady? Oh, my right. Here. Okay, there we go. Where's the weaving? The weaving, no. This one. Where's the Lord? Yeah, I will put the name of the one Yeah. John Scott? Yep. Scott John. John no, Scott. John Scott. I will put it on his basket. Right on. Yeah, right there, John Scott. Can't see floor. Thank you, Lincoln. Yeah, like she's off to the side there. Oh, oh. <laughs> uh, I'm just writing so that I can put two. I understand. <laughs> I get that. Uh, let's see, dude. Oh, right, you never got nothing from me, so all your numbers are going to be from Joe Durbin. Yeah, we'll Hello, send it. Yeah, uh, everybody that bought from us, we will, we will invoice. Um, let me put up my my PayPal again. Mm -hmm. If you could just send us an email with your with your uh, info. There we go. I'll switch that. There we go. Let's see. Wait, uh, no. I was like, guys, when you ask for totals, you might want to specify if you want a total from me or from Joe. Okay. Yeah, so anybody that needs a total from me, Joe, we'll invoice. We will invoice you. Yep, just make sure you email Joe, same as the PayPal, um, so that I have your PayPal. What's Eduardo got? Press? Uh, Eduardo, what's what did he get? Well, thank you, Cindy. <laughs> okay. Button. Are we that tiny? Mm. <laughs> Eduardo, if you're looking for me, big brass I, need, uh, I need 55 total from Eduardo. Hidden, you're priceless. There is no figure for you. That's Just saying. For Sir Red. Tell me Sir Red. Does he have stuff from this afternoon? Okay. <laughs> Hidden, just okay. send any CC coin you got. There you go. Dollar <laughs> even. Any CC you'll do. Any CC you'll do. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sir Reg. There's at the end of the uh, Sir Reg, for me, I need uh, $34 on your items. Yes, um, Eduardo, thank you. Robert, what would you be on two rolls? Anthony Goodley, are they zinc or are they copper? So that makes a big deal. <clears throat> Anthony, from yours earlier, whatever you had earlier and today, <laughs> you're in the priority. So yours is eight dollars for your shipping and handling on yours, um, Anthony Goodley. And let's see here, um, Anthony, I've got to take in. I'm going to tell you right now. I'm going to do. Uh, I. We're going to take him. Well, let me see here. What's Anthony Goodley's total, real quick, so I can. Because he got those rolls a couple. Hold on, Anthony, and I'll get that taken care of. Uh, I, already uh, I know. Right. Thank you, everyone. Anthony Goodley, your total is $62. And. We're going to take and we'll work some other stuff out as well for you. I got it. I got something else extra for you, Anthony Goodley. Well, you know, I mean, you. Uh, <laughs> hidden. Oh, um. Okay, so, well, Anthony, if you paid for shipping. Gee. What did you pay shipping on? Oh, that's right. You just paid for straight up. So. You're right, Anthony. If you send 38, we'll ship everything out. <clears throat> like I say, plus you got an extra item coming. Where's 
Really, Penny Parent, that's cool. Okay, sorry about that, Joe. No problem Anthony, at all. Anthony, we're good. You're, you're right, okay, Anthony, 16 through 38. That's right. how you sent that, I remember now. <laughs> ah, ah. Yes, yeah, Cindy, I wait till you start getting a bunch of grandbabies. No kidding. Right. <laughs> Any day now, we get another one. Oh, but it's fun. Yeah, it is fun. I Oh, I just love being a Grammy. It is fun. Sometimes. <laughs> uh, Lincoln, I believe you're correct. Uh, Are they emailing? Yeah, Lincoln, because she's going to be taking... She is, <laughs> I'll pick up the shipping on that, Lincoln. Uh, Mama Lou... I've got you. Let's see here. Oh, I got you for one item. What item is it? I see what you're saying. Yeah. Oh, okay. Mama Lou, your total, including shipping and handling, is ten dollars and fifty cents. Oh, Penny Parent, that would be amazing. Awesome, Penny. Right. Yeah. Very cool, Penny Parent. I let Joe look at the coins, and then I just I do the back office. You. Oh, you let me. <laughs> that's, that's one way to put it. <laughs> oh, sorry. Yeah. Um, I don't know how to look. <laughs> thank you, Lincoln, for all your help calling that tonight. That was awesome. You did an amazing job. Yes, Lincoln, you did. Yes, Penny Parent, I am. Thank you, Robert and Floralina, for coming in and doing this with me. I really appreciate you guys immensely. Oh, yes, we had, we had a blast. Had, had a good time. Me too. It was a lot of fun. <clears throat> yep. And uh, thank you to all all you people that came out and supported both of us, and uh, to all the new faces, the old faces. So, you know, I thank you all for your support and your bids, and just hanging out and having fun. Was, we really enjoyed it. Thank for you. sure. If it went for you, we wouldn't be able to have this much fun. You guys made it fun. Thank you. Right. Okay, one second, uh, Marty. Good, Lincoln. We did too. Good. I'm glad you did, Lincoln. Yeah. Me too, Anthony. I really like it. I like to, personally, I like the two people. You know, you get. What's more fanatic can you tell me what Marty does so I can see what kind of shipping? Constantly changing cameras. It seems. Uh, it it works both ways, but I just like this better myself. Thank you, Fire Occasion. You'll be watching for your uh, ring stream, buddy. It's coming. Marty Hoyt, your total from this afternoon on our channel is 53, including shipping and handling. Uh, Brian's World Mechanic, I've got about three groups in Facebook. <laughs> right on, Lincoln. I agree. It's a, it's a nice flow that way. And yeah, you know, like, I like the way it's set up. You know, I've watched some of the other auctions, and I mean, I'm sorry. I, I don't mean to be mean or nothing, but it's like, man, some of that just gets really clustered. I agree. It's just constantly changing the camera, and it's the next guy, and then it's not it. I just let you know, it's selling two, three items, four items, two people. I think it works great. You do two, three at a time, pass on to the next guy. It's not continually changing the camera, and I don't know. I like it. Hello, new Marshall. Hey, new Marshall. How you doing? Oh, uh, new oh, Marshall, oh, including oh. your. And say, including your shipping and handling, new Marshall, you're at seventy-eight dollars from nine eleven. <laughs> Joe, yes, sir. Would you take and somehow give me a big hammer so I can be hidden with it for a little bit? Right. <laughs> <laughs> I wish they had a hammer on YouTube. I'll tell you what. Robert it have all kinds of dots on his head. It wouldn't do any good. He damaged the coin. He's <laughs> under the coins. Uh hidden's great. He just, you know, he's a couple lumps on the head every now and then to keep him in order. 
hurt me, hurt me. <laughs> I'm afraid you'd like that hidden. <laughs> right. Anthony, yeah, you know what? I like it too. The three items each that gave us a little break in between. Um, and it didn't prolong the auction for, I don't know, how long have we been streaming, Joe? Uh, two and a half hours about. Okay, yeah. And, you know, that's really good as far as the time frame. Right, for the amount of items we went through. For yeah, sure. I mean, 41 items in two and a half hours is really good. Yes, sir. I agree. I mean, I've taken it, and, and you know, it, it's all good, but um, I have, in 40 items, I've spent three, four hours. Right. Yep. It's easy to spend on 30 items, two and a half, three hours, so. It is. If, you know. We have a good crowd in here. They're all, they're you know, auction savvy, let's say. Yes. There wasn't a lot of new new people that had never been to an auction before, so that helps a lot. Uh, yeah, you know, I, I've seen a lot of comments. People were saying, there's a lot of professionals in here. All right. There are a lot of people that were bidding that knows, they know what they want to bid on and where they're at. Yes, sir, I agree. <laughs> Sorry, Hidden. Maybe next time we'll try to get some pachydermis. <laughs> we yeah, where is that... Uh, that uh, elephant. The who? Yeah. Well, the one that you're talking about for him. Um, uh, I'm not talking about the one he, any of them that he won. I'm talking about one that you want teasing with. Uh oh. <laughs> you know how much Hidden likes to be teased. Oh, you know it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Flora, there's a small blue box in there that says keep. There's a small box in there that says keep. If it's, here, why don't you set off for a minute? Oh, oh man, hidden would go nuts on these. Yeah. Oh boy. Yeah. Now listen, these are not for sale. Note that statement, not for sale. At least not yet. This is what they call middle sex, guys. Oh, my. They're just a tad bit expensive, though. What's a tad bit? Uh, what's a tad bit? Um, yeah. I don't know. Well, let me see here. I think this is probably, Diane, somewhere around 180, I'm guessing. Look at you could wow, that is a nice coin. Yeah, it is. No, nah, this is a nice one. Okay. Oh yeah, look at that one. Oh the detail amazes wow. <laughs> right handed? <laughs> oh whoa 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 whoa. Show that again. I missed it. Oh okay. Right back side, yeah. Okay, hold on. It is. Is that a kangaroo? Yes, it is. Wow. Now here's another. These are, as it says here, pidcocks. Uh, it's from England. Okay. Now this is the rhinoceros. Now isn't that interesting? Oh, they're very collectible. Um, I just haven't had a chance to get them up yet. All right, well, we had them on eBay. Okay, this here's the uh, two-headed cow. Two-headed? Wow. Yeah. Yep. But they all got elephants on their obverse of them. Hidden. Don't Put leave. Up, hidden. There you go. <laughs> Hello, Lincoln. This here's a two-headed cow. This was actually on display, guys, at like a, you know, what we would consider a uh, Barnum and Bailey, Ringing Brothers, Barnum and Bailey Circus. But right. for, from a long time ago. Very cool. Very, very cool. That's right. <laughs> 
Right. Uh, and and you I don't know if he was. Serious eye candy for sure. Uh, Anthony, they didn't have any kind of engineering back then other than maybe building a bridge. Genetically engineered. <laughs> Oh, wow. Yeah, so that's all I got to show on that for now. Well, thank you for that treat. That was very cool. All right. Yeah, I can usually show a few of those every now and then. Uh, right. Cindy Blue. Uh, I'm trying, it seems to me they're in the 1800s, middle 1800s, early to middle 1800s, Cindy. I know that's what I just said. Thank you, Penny Parent, for posting that. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, thank you, Penny. Yeah, those were, like I say, uh, actually it might have been before Barnum and Bailey Circus, but it was over in England. So, I'm very I think it's early 18s. Interesting pieces, nonetheless. Yes, they are. <clears throat> One of these days, if I can get enough people to bid on them, I might put them up on my own auction. <laughs> right, Marty. I'll send that later on after the after we're done here. Yeah, as soon as we get off, Marty, she'll do the invoices. You'll have it soon, sir. Thank you for your uh, bids tonight. Thank everybody for their bids again. Yeah, thanks everybody who stopped by. It's it's you know, like I say this was fun. So this was fun. Yes, it, it was very fun. What a wonderful way to spend a Friday night. Thank you, everybody. Yeah, I just finished a, a construction job and I come home and I think one auction I'm done. Joe asked me, he's like, Oh, I gotta do a second auction. Huh? <laughs> and this goes four. <laughs> right on. Well, I'm glad you did, Robert. I had a blast. Anytime you want to do it again, we'll do it again. And For sure. Yeah. You know what? We'll do it again. Next time we're going to do it on my channel. How's that sound? Sure. sure. Works for me. Okay. Yeah, we can take and we'll stream it there. Um, I just got to take and figure out when we can do it. Uh, well, I don't see anyone that can throw that link up. I'm gonna say I'd like to, well, we're going to take it later this week. <clears throat> Excuse me. This weekend, I intend to take and do a video to give out the semis for who is in the running for the naming of the Washington Quarter. Uh, I was supposed to have done it yesterday, but I just when that construction job came up, it just got me too busy. So, but I will be doing that. Great. Uh. Okay, Marty Hoyt, the 71 Ike, it's got to be approved. Um, I've already had a few people sending me pictures of 71 San Francisco Ikes, but they're from the blue pack. Those were business strikes, okay? So um, it's got to be a proof strip. Now, if you do have a proof like that, I'd be interested in it. Even though I have one, two don't hurt. Right on. Uh, okay, Marty, I'd have to send me a picture, Marty. I'd love to see it. I really would. Uh, that would that would be interesting, Lincoln. But I'm I think I've heard of those. I believe Lincoln. I'm not certain, but yeah, I want to take in Joe. Me and you are going to get one of these days. We're going to also get together. We need to find somebody where we can have a nice open debate, um, a friendly debate. I really want to do that. I just haven't had nobody get a hold of me yet. I have two people that have two points of view, but they're willing to debate it in a proper, uh, polite manner. And, you know, I'd be glad to moderate any of that. Um, and, you know, I'd try and stay as unbiased as possible. And, you know, because there's so many topics, you know, I've heard people, I mean, one of the topics would be uh, taming and or conserving as opposed to not. Um, 
grading companies. That's a great, great copy. Right. I think. Um, you know, different people they swear by PCGS, others NGC, and yet okay. yeah. right on. I'd right, be happy to anytime. Give me a topic and a time, and I'll be there. Well, what I want to do is be the moderator, so you got to find your own enemy. All right. <laughs> <laughs> That shouldn't be hard to do. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you could do it with Lincoln. That would be fun. There you go. So. I could. Yeah. He knows coins. We debate every day. All day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, heck. Where's Hidden? He's ready to take in. Uh, he's ready to debate anybody. He'd argue with anybody. He wouldn't even have to have a topic. Yeah, you right. too, yeah. Yeah, you wouldn't need a topic with hidden, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Marty Hoyt definitely would like to get together. Uh Marty, I'll tell you what, I'd love to see that 71 you're talking about. That would be wonderful. <laughs> yep, Anthony, see, there you go. <laughs> right on. And I'll tell you what, Marty, now that's another thing. Um I'd love to you know, maybe that's another thing we could do, Joe, that we ought to think about. Maybe get together, do some kind of a stream, and, you know, it just have as a spotlight some of the collectors. Talk about their collecting habits, um, what they enjoy. I mean, me, you know, a lot of people, even though I love varieties, um, the truth is, guys, my, I think my biggest love is the fun. I mean, right. I, I enjoy finding a good variety. There's no doubt about that or there. But I also, I've got a Mercury Dime collection that I've been working on for about 15 plus years. And I'm getting it in a certain grade, which is, well, I was going for uncirculating or uncirculated. But I'm down to the last 11 and I've accepted a nice, I've learned also a beautiful AU58. Is as pretty as some MS 63s. So, but the hunt is what I look for. Yeah, Marty said it right. Always hunting. And you're right, Marty. You know what, guys? I'll get off of here. I'll get to bed tonight and I will wake up in the morning. And my local coin store, which is Coins Plus here in the greater Cincinnati Valley, uh, Brad Karloff is wonderful. He treats me really good. He always, you know, I'm sitting there. I've been working with him for three or four years. And I watch people come in, and he deals with everybody very fairly. Uh, and, you know, I mean, I think it's just a great uh, it's a great hobby. And if you get the right people, it, it's just you can have a lot of fun. And we do. See, Marty says, my cousin bought his house with a coin collection. Marty, I'll tell you guys, here's a story, guys. True story. I've got a good friend. He's a doctor. And he's a variety specialist, and I've found him a lot of coins. This one guy that we knew, he had two coins that he wanted. One was a penny, and let's see, the other was a dime. 11 cents. He was willing to take, and he had a Ford Mustang that had been built. Probably the value of it at the time, I would say, was about $21,000. And he offered the guy that automobile for that 11 cents. Wow. Do you take it? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> the guy had a 42 over one. That was a pretty high grade. And I'm trying to remember the other one. It was the penny. Oh, a 55 double dime. But it was a 65 red, I believe. Oh, wow. Yeah, so, wow. But, yeah, true story. I was right there. I watched it. I heard the deal. And I'm sitting there. The truth be told, I wouldn't have made the trade. I'd have kept the coins. And that car, don't get me wrong, that, that car he had was bad to the bone. Uh, yeah, Marty, I've got a beautiful uh, 42 over 1. I It stays in my safe, but it's a... They keep saying it's an AU-58. I can't find no wear on it, and it's got full split bands on it. Nice. Welcome back, Clinton. Hey, Clinton. 
Awesome, Marty. Yeah, Marty, I'll expect to see that a picture of that. Uh, you know, I just want to say one other thing, guys. I am very busy this weekend. All items will get shipped on Monday. So I make you slide. Yes, our items will go out for sure on Monday. Some may go tomorrow, but Monday for sure. Yeah, I, I've got a I know I haven't been to the coin shop for the whole week, so I know I have to be there first thing in the morning. Good night, Penny. Thanks for stopping by. And thanks for all the links and the help. Yes, thanks, Penny Parent. Have a good evening. Thank you for all your help. <laughs> Take care, Marty. You have a nice evening. Thanks for stopping by on both options. Uh, Lincoln, believe it or not, I got two sets of them. Uh, me too. I'm saying your set is a nice set, Lincoln. But right now, I'm being set back a lot of money on... I'm being set back, Lincoln, just a little bit of money on a moon. Right. <laughs> that one will pay back in spades, though. What's that? I say that one will pay back in spades. Uh, I'm thinking it will. Hey, hey, Frank. Did you see my pretty moon? <laughs> yeah, Lincoln. <laughs> Cindy, you know it right now I have. Yeah, Anthony, I think I've talked myself into... I mean, you know, what What the heck? What's money? It's like, yeah. It's hey, Coin a, Dragon. Good to see you, buddy. What is it, Frank? Are you sick? You're all green-faced. You know <laughs> why I'm jealous of the coins, Cindy, right? He spent more money on the coins than me. Oh. <laughs> why did Marty just send a dollar? He wanted to do that, Diane, as a test to make certain he had the right address because he's used to my setup to where he oh. just sent money. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay, Frank. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind me, guys. I'm just cleaning my kitchen. <laughs> there you go. Uh, Anthony Goodley, you know what? Now, there's a good debate, Anthony. Yep. Investing in coins, because I'll tell you what, I've watched the market, watched the market, and, you know, a lot of coin dealers saying, oh, the market's dying, the market's dying. I said, no, it's not. It's moving. It's moving to the Internet. You've got to have Internet, and it's very, very, I mean, a lot of these dealers, like, I don't know where they're getting rid of them. They must be selling them on Home Shopping Network. No, they're not. They're selling them on the internet at auction sites. Right. Then if you get the brown Ike with the blue Ike Islands, you got a nice Ike. <laughs> Lincoln, I know you love Ikes. Oh, yes, he does. I mean, yeah, there's a few that Karen B. with her halves, Cindy with her Morgans, and Lincoln with his Ikes. Brian, yeah, that I like all the dollars, too. Um. I bet, Lincoln, and I bet you've looked at every one since you've seen that uh, video. Um, <laughs> what's his name still? Yeah. Okay, Anthony, yeah, original bank mm -hmm. for you. No, I can get his stuff from somebody if I need to. <laughs> there you go, Lincoln. <laughs> oh, no, Ed, we're just getting started. <laughs> Sitting likes the Mormons. There you go. See, that's what I say. CJ right there. Everyone talking. They have their own different things they like. Right. Uh, what do you think of the collectability of the 19W Lincoln Sense? 
Fire Cajun, I think, all the W's this year. Give us time, but I think it's going to take a little bit of time. They're going to be collectible because of the limited amount of mini. That's my opinion. I agree with that. Awesome, John Scott. There you go, Frank. You're right. CJ is a snow machine. Wow, Clinton. Good luck on that. That's a that's a very, very uh nice set once you get it together. <laughs> an expensive set too. I can right. a few of them that are root chip. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Fire Cajun. Uh, Art Ring, you know what? I might have a deal for you, Art Ring. I think I have literally a box. It'll, a box normally holds that, just so you know. A two-by box will normally hold 100 two-bys comfortably. I think I have a box of those, maybe two, that I just have not taken the time to catalog them, attribute them. I might make you a deal on that. Frank, I bet you you will. I'll bet. Yeah, see, we're just sitting here BSing a little bit and looking at all the great topics I see that could be... I mean, each one of them would be wonderful for a complete show. Right. Right. I don't, I'm not familiar with the David and Susie's Slab Morgans. That's uh, Silver Giveaways is who he's talking about their channel. Oh, okay. John Scott, <laughs> I'd have to look up into that. Well, Ken, it depends on, uh, I don't know, Joe, what is it for the, well, I can look it up. For the blue and brown ice. You um, have to I'd have to pull out my papers. That's what it was me. Let's see the it the, they keep changing the stupid gray sheet. And right. if now I got they're not in there. I don't have them this time. So, Greg, there you go. I can help you fill it up with varieties. <laughs> um, man, what are those? Let me see. Let me check my other gray sheet and see if I got it in here. Yeah, Joe, if you find it, let us know. I'll look. Let's see. <clears throat> yeah. Let me see. Maybe. come out once every month or something. I don't know. I'm not finding the Ikes on mine either. Yeah. I know I've seen them in there before. Right. They must only do it about once a month, so um, I can't answer right now, Clinton S. You know, that sounds like a good idea to listen to everyone talking about certified pain. I could use a certified pain. All right. 
I don't think that bell works for soda pops. <laughs> soda pops? Yeah. Sorry there, uh, Clinton. Wish we could have. No problem, Clinton. I'll keep looking. If I come up with something, I'll get back to you. I'll tell you what, Hayden, you're a little bossy guy, ain't you? Hidden's <laughs> uh, probably got it in front of him. He's just not sharing. It sounds about right. We're under your tricks, buddy. It's cool, Brian. Cool. Nice, sir, egg. And some of those, sir, egg, uh, they're hard to find those dates. Uh, some of them, though, they're also the Pantsits are messed up Pantsits, too. Okay, Frank. Now it's time for us to mess with the dealers. Did y'all find it yet? Uh-huh. Yep. I've got a wrench hidden. <laughs> he knows how to use it. Uh-huh. I know how to put people in 300 second time out. <laughs> I don't think I've ever had to do that. That sort of bothers me to be honest though, uh, Joe and Hidden, that I can't find that roll price. You'd think they'd have the roll price. <clears throat> yep. Sixty-seven miles. Sometimes, sir, Reg, be careful when you're looking for the date. Sometimes, when you have that kind of error, you need to take and don't try to get too close and don't use too much magnification. Uh, a good loop for that is going like this. Where you got three different powers and you don't right. overpower. A lot of people don't realize this, and it took me a while to understand. Some varieties I overpowered them. Well, errors mainly, but I would overpower them. So, see here. <laughs> Clinton. <laughs> Brian's world, uh, to be honest, all of mine goes to my wife, except for a few select ones that will go to my children. Um, I honestly cannot say which ones they are because a good story will sell a coin. And as soon as you understand that, then you'll take and... That's why I can't say something about some of the coins. Because <laughs> they got some wonderful stories. Or one of them is a story in the making. That's cool. Yep. Hey, Sandy. Did you say you still wanted to buy that uh, 38 I've got? <laughs> is it a gun? <laughs> Yeah, Brian, it's pretty cool. Ah. 
That filled her when she takes and rolls over. <laughs> but I got to because she's all the time kicking me in the head or punching me and all that stuff. She moves what? a lot. Of <laughs> that little Filipino who's all the time. She's all over the bed. <laughs> <laughs> little fireball, is she? Oh, man. She takes my head. I, I don't know how many times I woke up to her cracking me upside the head. <laughs> what did you say to her? I just go back to sleep, move her over a little bit. Oh, I see. <laughs> <laughs> so she does it in the sleep? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, she she's doing it in her sleep. Or at least she says she's doing it in her sleep, but I'll be honest, she's also she also solves a few logs whenever she's she tries to build a cabin at night, so uh-huh. I think I understand that completely. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta make me a bell for that just to wake her up gently. <laughs> gently? Yeah, gently would be a wise choice. Mm. What she said in here. You know what, Brian? That's probably a good idea to do what you're doing. Um, you know, here's one thing, you know, now guys, I'm going to give you my point of view on this. Um, if you're getting older and you know, your time is coming soon. I had a, my grandfather, he was 89. We knew he was going to pass away. He had pancreatic, uh, pancreatic cancer or something like that. Oh, but, uh, when he, we first heard about it. I took and I told him, I, I got to see his collection, and I told him, I said, you know what? I said, sell every bit of it and do whatever you enjoy. Uh, don't matter what you get out of it. I mean, I think when I looked at it, he probably had close to $4,000 in value on what he had. I, but it was a bunch of stuff that was just that stuff. And I said, you know, I've watched too many families split up and fight over some of the stupidest things. I don't know, Joe, you get rich off your coin collection yet? Nope. Me neither. And I move a lot of coins and I'm nowhere near being rich. Um, it's just they're not worth it. Not, not the, you know, I think it took seven years for my aunts and my mother to where they are realistically just not coming back together and it was all over a bunch of stupid coins right yeah i that's sad when that happens but it money brings out the worst in people a lot of times uh, you know one of my I, I said this from about the time i was 24 I said, people get funny when it comes to money. Yeah. Hello, Daniel. Yes, Quine. Help, Daniel. Uh, you did. You know what? I don't think I've seen that yet, Daniel. I may go take a look at that. It's a good video, Robert. Yeah. That, Daniel does good videos. I like them. Me too. You bet, Brian. Good uh, luck and all that. But you're a young man, but it's good to plan. Yeah, Brian, I mean, yeah, just... i tell you what, it's... You're right, it is a bit of a morbid subject, but, I mean, that's like the friend, I, I just helped him with this house. I helped him do some painting, and we remodeled, well, not remodeled, but the last people that did the work didn't do it right, so we fixed a bunch of stuff, and then we painted everything up. And um, me and him, we've had some pretty good talks. I drive him to coin shows and stuff. And, you know, he's got a plan to disperse his collection. And thank God. And now Dan will get this. He didn't want me to because we're very good friends. But what he has in his collection, it's out of my league. Wow, really? Right. Yes. I mean I get that. It's it's even out of Daniel's league. I mean his good stuff because it's more of the older type. Um 
but there's a lot of specialty, the cones, the, I don't even know the names of some of these things that they have out there. Wow. Excuse me for just a second. Sure. Lord, come out and sing. Joe said he needs a break. <laughs> Uh, Brian, I had a nephew just passed, and he was only 44. Uh, some of you may remember that I took and did a give, well, not a giveaway, but we did a benefit auction for him. That rang my bell. Huh. Ah, there you go. Do you need something? No, hon. <laughs> Yeah, Dan, I understand that, but a lot of this here has to be, well, Heritage and them could uh, handle it. But those dealers that are, uh, they specialize in those, the stuff that um, Paul has, and he's already got set up anyways, but. I had my uh, green screen up, and I might be able to make that look like it happened. <laughs> All right. Thank you. I'm back. Yeah, Joe, we're going to get you a green screen. That way there, because they were just saying it would be awesome if Florida Atlantic could walk into your stream. And it's like, <laughs> if we had green screens, we could make that happen. <laughs> yes, we could. She could just sit down and talk to you. <laughs> Make it look that way. Right. Seriously. We're working on it. <laughs> the replacement parts, so. Okay, I don't have art rings. We'll get it. I bet it's in the email already from before. Hey, Frank, you're right. It would. Especially if it fits into the uh, the background chromium or whatever they call that stuff. So, all those are gonna, all are gonna You're out. welcome, Brian. Thank you for being here. You're Appreciate welcome, Brian. And thank you. Yes. Anybody got anything else they want to yap about a little bit? Or? If not, we can uh, call her a night. It's up to you guys. We're all easy here. Yeah, I believe it. You'd be surprised if the collection I've seen come in to Cincinnati at the corn shops. <laughs> I'll bet. I took in this young lady come in, I, and I'm not mentioning her name, of course, but this young lady come in. Well, she was actually getting ready to leave when me and Floor come in. And I just, you know, I've got pretty much a lot of uh, freedom at the coin shop at Coins uh, Plus. And this lady was, the owner had to take her out to help her load up. But they loaded up something like $600,000 worth of gold coins. Wow. Yeah. And that's not been the biggest I've seen. Oh, Dan, I know. You got that. You got a Portsmouth all locked up. <laughs> what? The town. Mm. Hey, Cajun Coin Hunter. Hello. Hey, Cajun. I didn't even see you. I didn't need to. I happened to see uh, Lincoln say hello. <laughs> right. Hello, KD Scrapper. That one I seen. Hey, KD.
We're just kind of hanging out, shooting the breeze. We had a great auction tonight. And uh, so now we're just kicking back and talking. Anthony, I assure you that's not what it's about. Awesome, man. Wow. Really? Hundred thousand dollars? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> and you might know the same person I know. I know a guy who actually owns he bought the bank and he retired, I think, 20 years ago, and he still gets so many coins that he hasn't been able to get out of the business. Awesome, Daniel. That's a nice deal. <laughs> wow, that's crazy. <laughs> that's that crazy. is crazy. Wow. Okay. Well, I'm like Flora. I'm going to have to take off because I'm done. Okay. <laughs> well, guys, I'll tell you what. It's been fun. I have enjoyed myself. I thank you for the invite. I really do. Thank you. I appreciate for all the people Robert. who did all the bidding and the people who just come in. The, uh, the mod you guys did well. Lincoln, you did a wonderful job calling tonight. Like I said, we went through smoothly. Yes. Thank you, Lincoln, Diane, everybody that helped. Robert and Floor, you guys are the best. Lovato was here for a short period, too. That was cool. And thanks, everybody that uh, Cindy was here. stopped by. Too many to name, but thank you all. Yep. <laughs> And I'll say a quick reminder for you. Let's see here. Um, okay, uh, Hidden, I might just do that. So uh, it'll be a quick call, but it sounds great. Thank you, Daniel, for stopping by for the support. We appreciate it. You too, Frank. But yes. Hey, uh, Joe, whenever you want to shut this puppy down, I'm ready. All right, we're ready. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Thanks again for coming in. Some invoices are out. If you haven't emailed me, please do so. Until then, next time. Thank you. Bye. Happy hunting. <laughs>